so let's open it up. Um, Jata, you are uh, in a holding cell, um, and in walks, uh, you know, Fred Johnson, uh, you know, short, um, darker skinned, short hair. Uh, he walks in and sits down quietly and then looks at you um, just for a few seconds and goes, Jata. Look, man, I can explain, okay? About? The situation, why I'm here? You're here because I wanted to talk to you. Oh, it's not about the leg? Hell no. Oh. All right, he's, then. He's a bounty hunter working off of authoriz- without authorization on my station. I don't give a shit. You could have put two rounds in his head and I wouldn't have given a shit. Ah, right. Okay. What is it? Sir. I know you're Hold working it. for Culpepper Corporation. Uh, yeah, about that. So a job's a job, right? Yeah. I'm not here to tell you what you can and can't do, but I'm here to ask you a favor. To okay. Favor for the belt. Right, for the belt. Culpepper has no records. They've reached out to me in the past but I know they've reached out to the UN and Mars. Okay. They have connections all over the system, but no one knows who their board is. No one knows who runs them. The, on paper, their CEO is simply a man by the name of John Johnston. Probably an alias. Has no, 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 uh, no residence Every time I've sent anyone out to investigate it, they've come up with nothing. You're the first person I know who has had workings directly. Well, I wouldn't say directly. I I don't know nothing that you don't know either. I mean, like, the credits came in. The credits were good. I did the job. More credits came. What can I say? What do you need from me? Keep an eye on Culpepper. Let me know where they send you, and what you do. I will give you credits if you need it. Ah, you're speaking my language now. Okay. All right. But I fear... For the belt. I fear that they're not really working for the good of the belt. Since they have some sort of ulterior motive, I'm not too sure. So I need you, Beltaloda. Misasa, I'll do it. Thank you. And he sets, says, uh, sets up and uh, walks out, kind of adjusts his, his, his shirt and walks out and looks over at one of the security guards, let him go. Uh, walks away. Door leaves open, and security guard just kind of says, you're free to go. About time. I, uh, I guess I walk out into the daylight, or... Station light, or whatever, whatever it is. <laughs> station light. So you walk out uh, yeah. into the security station. It's pretty hustle and bustle. They let you kind of leave. They give you your gun back. Um, <laughs> um, and Did I treat uh, you right? <laughs> you um, you arrive back at the um, the ship uh, just about the same time as everyone has finished. Um, or um, what was it? Sloan? Not Sloan. It was. Mark, um, Cass, and Pierce had left to go uh, talk to um, Bull. So as you leave um, the room, you see Mark, Cass, and um, and uh, Pierce uh, leaving as well when they're talking to the to a security ar- uh, agent. So like they, as you're giving your gun back, you see them walk by you. All right. Oh, there you are. Uh, I mean, there you are. <laughs> You're right. Oh. Yeah, I'm good. Shall we go? Good timing. I thought the sentence for amputation was going to be longer. Uh, Here? They just said, don't do it again, you know? So I guess I won't do it again. 
for a while. Yeah, next time, go for the other leg. Exactly. Left leg's off the books. I have to do the right one next time. Good. Fucking belters. <laughs> <laughs> Pierce, Pierce looks at you. You say belters, looks at, 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 Jat- at Jata and goes, What? <laughs> I mean, you have, you have a, you'd have a problem with with when I when I beat the shit out of people with, with sledgehammers. What's what do you got? What do you got? With, what's the problem with belters? <laughs> we get shit done. And looks at Jataz like, right, man? <laughs> right. <laughs> got a problem with that? <laughs> Not a bit. <laughs> That's what I thought. <clears throat> this so is wh- this is why I drink. <laughs> Keep drinking. So you guys are outside the security station. Um, you guys had just learned that um, the... Let me remember the hotel name. Uh, a hotel called um, I forget the name of the hotel. We'll just make it up with it. The um, um, the, the Golden Arches. <laughs> the Golden Arches. There we go. The Golden Arch. The Golden Arch Hotel is uh, uh, which is like right across the way from its um, the this, the port, um, pretty close to the to the to the dock where it's where they were at. So where their ship is stationed. <coughs> <clears throat> so, uh, on the way back to the ship, I'll catch Jata up uh, on the, the basics. <laughs> the missing the scientists are being kidnapped by a shipping company. Uh, we think we know where they're being held. They also have the ship that's been transporting the scientists in uh, to that holding facility in dock right now. And the crew... Uh, hole up in a hotel across the docks from there and we have a room number, I think. <laughs> right. That's all well and good and all, but Culpepper is paying us for this, right? No, the, the Mormons are paying it. Paying, paying yeah. All right. As long as we're getting paid. Yeah. We're getting paid. All right. I'll see what I can do. Um, so, at this point, where is everybody else? Um, uh, Sloane's still on the ship, I think. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm okay. the only one that's not there. She decided to stay with the ship. Do we have any way of contacting each other? Like, uh, yeah, long we range, have, short yeah. range? Yeah, we, we all have, have the hand terminals, right? Yeah, yeah, everyone has a hand terminal. Okay, alright, so at any point we can just press the button and everybody knows what we're saying? Yep. Okay. Yeah. I'd have to make, like, a WhatsApp group or something, do I? <laughs> no, you're good. <laughs> alright, cool. <laughs> we, we're in a, we have a group text. So, okay. so here, here's like the cool see, th- you get on the ship and poof, you're on the channel. <laughs> the, the cool thing, well, the cool thing about about uh, the expanse is that because you guys have a ship, it, it's very quite common. And since you're a tech, a tech wizard, you already know this. Uh, Jatawa would already know this. Is that often what groups, what like um, um, ship uh, crew will do, is they will create a, a network based off of the ship. So they'll use right. the ship as kind of like a, a server. For uh, to send information and bounce signals back and forth between all the different hand terminals, so you can create a, a can, like a private network between just your hand terminals, so you can connect to that and contact to, to people individually. So, right, okay, all right then, Cass, lead the way. Are we not taking uh, Maddox with us? We wanted to let Bull know that we were going to be. Um... Making some noise first. I hand ter- pull out my hand terminal and uh, dial up Sloan. Hello. <laughs> What's up? Pepperoni pizza, please. No. Um. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was making some food, so y'all better eat. <laughs> we're on our way back to the ship, and then we're gonna head over to the Golden Arch. The Golden Arch should be McDonald's. No, she's in the Seriously, that was the joke I was making. 
<laughs> McSpace Donalds. Okay, I got it. I got it. <laughs> the go- the Golden Arch Hotel in Point uh, in Port Big Macintosh. <laughs> Big Big Macintosh. Ah. <laughs> uh. uh. What's what's your ETA to get there? I'll just meet you there. Right. Uh, we'll head straight there then. Uh, it'll probably take <laughs> minutes. Yeah, it, it'll take you about fifteen minutes. Slow, and it'll take you about five because you're closer. Okay, so I'll leave in like ten minutes. Okay. All right. I'll see y'all there. Do I need to bring anything? Just a gun. Oh, okay. I have one. What? Wait, did the police give me back my gun? Am I yes. nice? Yes. Okay. They, they gave you back all your stuff. Okay. And I have a shotgun, but I haven't used that in a while. So I, I might like... <laughs> Do you want to strap definitely... up with a shotgun? <laughs> are you I... going to show up with your red dress and a shotgun slung no, around your back? <laughs> I am... I, okay, this whole time I've been washing my dress. Okay, guys, like in yeah. cold water because that's how you get blood out. Okay, so I've left it. I'm just leaving my dress in like ice cold water, and I change. I'm gonna change. I'm gonna take that two minutes to change into clothes that aren't dress. Okay. You okay. didn't use up all my club soda, did you? <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe. <Why? laughs> I mean, I figure you care more about like all the whiskey and stuff than the club soda, but okay, okay, fam. What is a what is a drink without the mixer? <laughs> That's true. You're absolutely right. You actually have a point. You really do. Um, I believe you had um armor. You had um, yeah, I do. Some, like, I, like like a like a like under my vest you could strap on. Yeah. Yeah, my OG clothes. So I'll just wear those. Where the uh, hell so, you, it is. so you're bringing your pistol and the armor and your knife? Yeah, yeah. I won't bring the shotgun. It's probably too noisy and big, and it's a little obvious. Um. All right. So <clears throat> you guys walk through the station. It's um. It seems like it's shift. It's it's sometime during shift. So there's like very few people walking around. Um. It's kind of quiet. Uh. Some people are hanging out in bars and and restaurants as you pass. Um. And uh, as you guys all group up together, you guys see uh, there's the docks, and then there's like a big walkway, and then on the other side of the docks, where everything's uh, where everyone's parked, you see rows of like hotels and bars and brothels, and like an entertainment uh, district. Kind of like uh, Tyco is set up so that a lot of its um, shopping districts are uh, close to the to the rim with all of the the, the ships. Uh, okay. Just because it makes a lot more sense for people to come and come and right. go, and then a lot of the upper and lower sections of the station are administration and like engineering, where because Tycho is used to like build, well, to spin up asteroids, but they're built, they were building the Naboo, so like they've, they've been building ships and stuff like that too. All right, I got you, Doctor Jones. <laughs> Dr. Jones. Thank you. I was just trying, trying to, to help. Yeah, I'm trying, trying to be helped. Um. <laughs> All right. Um, so, um, you guys are outside of, the, you, you see, like, I'll describe, you've got the Golden Arch Hotel, which looks like a typical hotel. Not, not run down, not bad, pretty, pretty good. Um, and to the left of it, you have a um, a bar that's called uh, the Sleepy Spaceman, and on the right, you have uh, a uh, a brothel called the Golden Lotus. Um, so, just ignore me in chat. Let it go. <laughs> you posted it though. I gave you okay. Yeah, but I, I made a typo, and put a T at the beginning because like. Oh, oh, oh. Never mind. Just ignore me. I, I got it. I got it. All right. Um, I'll, I'll do it right now. <laughs> so, what do you guys want to do? You need a command for that. <laughs> I do. I, ha- I was going to make one for the, um, the last one we did. Ooh. Exclamation point spice. Uh, to say you ignore me. <laughs> no. We're a family here, drones. <laughs> family doesn't ignore family. <laughs> we are family. Hey, also, that's totally not true. I spent my, I spent the majority of my teenage years trying to pretend my little sister didn't exist. Didn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I know that feeling. Oh. Uh, oh. so the first the first place Cass is going is 
straight into the sleepy space, man. If we're about to get into a gunfight. <laughs> You I, show, I, had, you I had a feeling that that is exactly what was going to happen. So Sloan, you see them there and everyone gathers and like Cass sees the sleepy spaceman and just like beelines, beelines. <laughs> straight to the bar. She Be just, right back. She does one of these. <laughs> yeah, he's got a good a good point, I guess. <laughs> she, 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 she goes in too. She got, she's, she's going to, is this all the same day, by, by the way, that Meyer? Yeah, we're still in the same day from last time, right? Yeah, I just got released from uh, from the cell talking so to you. Uh, it might be the like next day because I think they held him over. I think hours. No, it doesn't matter. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's either that day or the very next day. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's the same day because it was um, you guys hadn't had a it, you, yeah. So like you guys had rested, woke up, and then you had the um, the bounty hunter encounter Excursion. got yeah. captured. Uh, then went to go do some interviews um, and then talk with Bull. So you're coming towards the end of like, you guys are getting a little tired, but it, it, it'd be it's like, like probably like evening, it's, like you've, five you've, p.m. at least. Yeah, you've had a very full day so far. Okay. <laughs> busy day, busy, busy day. Yeah, and I, I'm gonna, day. I'm gonna go in with Cass and like just be like, yeah, I think I think that it's time to you know have a little. Like, You're gonna go with Cass, just like the, and, oh, that, and to make sure he doesn't get drunk. So uh, you know, he, and we don't even have crunk in space right now. So yeah, she's, <laughs> she's just gonna have a little shoddy shot. That's it, one shot. That's it. That's it. There you go. I I linked the. Uh, I have a command now for it. So yes. Green Ronin. So there I'm go. gonna drink this. <laughs> so um. Uh, Cass and um, Sloan go in and have have a few shots, while Mark and Pierce and Jatar are outside. And Pierce, so, I'm Pierce specifically looks... getting a, a, a single shot of whiskey uh -huh. and making sure that nobody we know of from uh, any of the surveillance footage we watch that's on that ship is in this bar. Ooh, ooh. Okay, smarty boy. So you uh, you walk in. And um, you, uh, if you're looking for, for the people, give me a investi uh, investigation. It would be a seeing check, which would be under. Yeah, per per perception, perception seeing. Yeah, perception seeing. Okay, perception. I think I just do this. How do I roll this? There's a double, do okay. I double click it. All right, it's new. You just have to, um, you click on it. I'll try to double click on it. And then they'll, build, they'll pop up. Oh, right, a, uh, additional modifiers. Gotcha, yeah. there it is. Nope. No modifiers, so. And then secret difficulty. Wish it could default to that. Yeah, just I know. just a zero. He's All gonna right. Tell us. We have hey, you have some stunt points to that too. So uh, <laughs> you you can use some uh, investigation stunts if you like. All right. Uh, let me get. Oh, I need to get to that those really. Up. Okay, make sure you guys have your quick reference card up. Um, just because. Yes. Uh, you can also. Um, I I should have enough for the one that will let me put two and two together later. You have for um, everything. So you have five cent points. So. Right. You could do. Fine. I can't remember what that one was through. called. Not only gain information uh, from an incontroversial proof, uh, reduce the total number of test leads on path, on the path by one, jumping further than the investigation immediately. Uh, there's also intuition. Uh, lucky break. The test. Yeah. The test result leads for tourists <clears throat> putting two and two together. Treat one irrelevant focus as a tangential one in the next test. Okay. So, on the back of the neck of the guy who was facing um, one of the guys that was facing the um, the video um, near the docks, near what you saw, you saw you didn't see his face, but you saw a um, a tattoo. The tattoo was of a uh, uh, of a very small pig, um, and there was a uh, uh, like like flames all around that pig. You, you thought it was odd, an odd tattoo, and you're looking around. And you can't really, you don't really notice anyone exactly, but you would instantly see that tattoo in the back of someone's neck, hanging out with two other people by the um, just just in the bar, just chatting. Gotcha. I don't make any moves towards it, but I just like 
I'm bookmarking that information. <laughs> then I get my whiskey. Okay. So you get your whiskey. Sloan, you drinking anything? Yeah, I'll have the same, but one. Just one. One. You said so- shot, so I was like, no, one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Single whiskey. <laughs> and, you know, some some uh, and, and some club soda with a lime on the side. There we go. So Pierce Black. is hanging out with, with Jata and, and uh, Mark out in the front, and he's going, why does he drink so much? <sighs> don't know. Don't care. Do I uh, just drink? I don't think I've never met an Earther who doesn't just drink themselves stupid. Must be part of the physiology or something. Does and gravity Earthers make you... Weird. Does Does gravity make you drink like a, like a fish? He looks at you, Mark. Not me, no. <laughs> You're the only other, I, uh, the only other one who's born down a well, so I don't know. I uh, I lift my uh, my hand terminal. Do I have to like lift my hand terminal to talk to them? Is that it? Is that how it well, works? So it's it's like a cell phone. So it's like a, just like a smartphone that you can just kind of like like a clear smartphone. So you can right. do that, or you can like have it installed in your arm, like as kind of like a if you want to, the kind of things. Either one works. All right. So I go. Hey. Can we get those drinks to go or something around the clock here? So you guys pop, you hear the, 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 the noise pop up through both of your, your um, hand terminals. I slam my shot and I just uh, look at Sloan really quick and said, like, just um, when things go bad, we should probably expect something from this direction. And I, I nod over my shoulder towards the group that we were, you mentioned. Um, it's like one of the um, one of our <coughs> friends from the video is over there. Are, are like, and I'm asking the sad character: Are they a rough looking crowd? Uh, so you, if you glance over, you see. Yeah, wait um, a second. I do the casual thing. I just like kind of wait a second. Everybody says that, and then I do the. All right, give me give bar. give me a perception. It's going to be a lower lower perception seeing than than it would have initially, okay. but. Um, secret submit. Okay, so you see, you you kind of glance over and look over at the at the crew, um, and you notice instantly on their jumpsuits is Ebenezer Hazard, uh, Pope Pope Sanchez shipping. It's just on the back of their jumpsuits. They're all wearing their jumpsuits um, uh, uh, at the bar. So like they're lo- they look. Um, like, uh, let me double check their origins. Um, does any of them look like the girl's boyfriend? None of them, no. Okay. See, uh, a woman, um, uh, who's the tallest one, then you see. Um, a it's like it's like you see what looks like an Earther, a Martian, and a um, or a Belter, a Martian, and an Earther in terms like like in terms of their size. Okay. Um, sitting while, while sitting there. A Belter, and, a Martian, and an Earthling walk into walk a bar. into a bar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they got Ouch. messed up. Okay, I, I'm gonna. So, is that all you have for me, Dean? Yeah, that's that. okay. uh, like they're they're talking. You can't hear them because the bar's right, kind of right. busy. But you know, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna look over kind of back at Cass and say, so the plan is, is to go to their room, right? Like their hotel and and break into that or what? Like what's the plan here? Because maybe somebody can keep them distracted here while the rest of us go take care of things the other way. That would keep some pressure off our backs. Hmm. Hmm. How, DM, did they look like inebriated? Oh, they're drinking. They... There's so a couple they're of, like... There's a couple of empty, like, beers on the table. Uh, you know, like, bulbs of beer on the table. And there's some there's some shot glasses, you know, around, that kind of stuff. And then I know that... And I kind of, like, this is, again, like, she's kind of talking to Cass. She says, maybe Jata. I mean, do we want Jata going to the room or do we want him staying here and making sure maybe their terminals are not getting contacted if there's others certainly worth a shot maybe we should uh, let's, I'm gonna, um, 
Maybe text the. Uh, can we? Can I text the other guys outside? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, like, okay. uh, it works just like a cell phone. So. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna text them. And I'm gonna text Jata and. Um, what I'm are you sorry, texting? Mark. I'm gonna say. Think we spotted some of our quote friends here in the bar. Come in, and maybe we can keep things easy. I'm trying. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't think and text when I don't have my phone out. Okay, I have to look at my phone. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I'm literally going to pretend to text this. So, hey. We friends. As she types this, I'm standing right next to her going, what are you doing? <laughs> you walked in the bar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, and I look, uh, I turn to you and I say, hey, sit, sit here at the bar with us. Why? Because our friends are, you know, and I do the same thing, cast it very casually and like, like if, if I can get them lined up like six to me, let's uh -huh. say they're, they're at my six at that table over there. And I think that maybe we could keep them distracted while some of us go deal with the room itself. Um, and what do you want me to do about it? I mean, I don't know. What do you think you would be good at? Like breaking into the room, or maybe keeping them from getting messages from the others if there's others around. Uh, well, you know me already. Breaking in is no problem, but uh, I guess I could try and uh, inter intercept. Wait, uh, DM, mm -hmm. am I able to intercept their hand terminals with some te techno stuff? Yes, you could, but you'd have to or give even, me some techno checks. All right, or even hack into them and find out what their messages are. All right, um, I could. I could possibly try both. I don't know. I could give it a shot. Those three, right? Right over there. Those felotas. Yes. Yes. All right. All so right. That, would, that would be a intelligence. Um... Uh, okay. Um, intelligence, right? I like how Cass going to the bar turned into a whole thing now. <laughs> this... <laughs> Uh, I actually had a plan, uh, believe it or uh, not. It's not it's <laughs> not always about the boot. Like <laughs> Sometimes like they just they just happen to do it. Yes. I go ahead and order Jata and Mark, are you there in there too? Alright, so you try yeah, I would have walked in. Um, if wait, he walked uh, in, I would have probably yeah, go ahead. Him. Uh would that be I, intelligence I or would it be security or technology? Because I have those as well. It's technology. So it's under oh, okay. technology. It's so All it's right. under intelligence, yeah. All right, sorry, I didn't click the right one. I All clicked right. technology now. Okay. There we go. So you um, you try to hack into their um, uh, into their their things, which are having a little bit of a, a difficulty. You're just like the fuck. You like they're, 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 they there's a bunch of stuff in there like that's you didn't expect just them to have. Right. Um. So you're having some difficulty. You think you could probably do it, but it's going to take you some time to go through it. Okay. You'll have to do a couple more rolls to get into it. Right, so I st I, I, I'm going to have to stay at the bar here if you want me to hack into the terminals. Uh, you guys, you go on. I'll be okay here. Excellent. I, I like, tap for one more whiskey <laughs> before I step away. Um, uh, sh a very, a very um, tall belter woman <laughs> slides another whiskey you run. So is that like uh, with Cass, is that like some kind of class thing that I don't know about? Like the more you drink, the more like uh, inebriation points you get? You spend them <laughs> <on>. <laughs> oh my God. No. I just have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. I hope I get to use my carousing feet. I, uh, I, I, I take the, the second shot and I, uh, I pay with my hand terminal. Okay. And then I make my uh, way out of the bar. All right, so you make your way out of the bar. Sloan, are you still in the bar? Pierce has been... Uh, your cat, uh, Mark, you're in there with them now, right? You were in there? Yeah, yeah. I was kind of yeah. following Jatai around. Pierce yeah, is then, still outside the bar. So he just, he's outside the bar, like, like, like twirling his twirling his, uh, his, his sledgehammer and just kind of, like, flipping around a little bit, like... People are starting to toss some coins because it's entertaining. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just, he's just hanging out. Um... You know, like some some beautiful woman pa passes, like, "Oh, hey, how you doing?" Yeah, 
the sledge. That's, yeah. that's his alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, her, her, her. <laughs> um. So that that uh, but you guys come out or uh, Cass comes out. Is just Cass walking out? Who all staying in the bar? I know, I know, you're staying in the bar, right, Jata? Yeah, I I, uh, I order a virgin gin and tonic or something, and I'm just sitting there. Yeah. Or the the, the woman, the, the drink. Yeah, the woman, the woman like goes. All right, it just kind of looks at you. <laughs> and just, okay, and, and gives you uh, gives gives you the, the drink uh, as you're playing on your hand terminal. You know, I mean, uh, I, I I don't know what drinks they have in the expanse. Ractagino or something like every uh, kind of normal drink we would have today. They have just all right, except it's probably made from fungus. Yes, right. Or it's made on Ganymede. You know. <laughs> so instead of instead of whiskey or scotch from, uh, you know, Scotland, you you have you know, whiskey or scotch from like Scotch bars. bars. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Okay. All right, fair enough. I mean, like, uh, because my guy's gonna have to be uh, doing all these like tech checks, I figure I shouldn't take anything alcoholic, just in case DM yeah. decides to make me do something with this advantage. Constitution checks, yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all I right, so give, I, I give Mark a look and say, you can go with him if you want, make sure. But I think he's got Pierce out there too, so it's up to you where you want to be. I'll head out. Don't want to forget about you. You're so quiet. You, you exist, drones. <laughs> I do exist. Damn it. You you matter. He's always the quiet one. That's always like, what the hell are you guys doing? <laughs> <laughs> Just All roll right. his eyes. <laughs> so, drones, you walk out with Cass, or um, Mark, you walk out with Cass. Yes. So you guys walk out and see and see uh, Pierce flip flip around his hammer and looks at you and goes, "Hey, what's going on? What are we doing?" Going to work, and I just immediately start walking for the Golden Arches or Golden Arch Hotel. Cool. He follows you. <laughs> <laughs> so you walk in. I it's it's you. a there's a nice lobby. It's like carpeted, and uh, you hear like like do 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 do. Do, do, do. Like kind of like soft, like like jazz, soft jazz music in the background as you walk in, and there's this kind of kind of a uh, you know a decent looking guy, looks a little tired, you know, behind the behind the a desk, like playing around with like a terminal, and looks up, and nods, and goes, "How can I help you?" Uh, we're here for uh, I guess you'd call it a business meeting, maybe a job interview. Uh, and I, well, I give him the room number. Okay. He looks at you and goes, oh, um, uh, yeah, go right ahead. You need me to call up or? No, they know we're on the way. I, I've just flipped my hand terminal, like, towards him. Uh -huh. You know, like, a, we let him know we were coming kind of a way. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, he's, it's really, he's, uh, go ahead. Yeah. You don't give a damn. He's done with yeah. this job today. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say they don't pay him to keep the riffraff out, but that's probably exactly what they pay him for. <laughs> <laughs> um, so he lets you walk walk away. You guys go go towards the um, the the hotel room, uh, room twenty four. Is what you, where you go yep. to. Um, you go to the hotel room. It's closed, locked. Um, I'm trying to remember what the door lock sort of set up in the expanse is. It's all digital, right? All digital. Mm -hmm. All right. You can break them down, but... <laughs> it would be loud. Yeah. I, uh... I, I just sort of, like, glance at Sledge and his sledgehammer, and then I just hit the buzzer on the door. Okay, because <laughs> uh, Sledge is like, like uh, the second you see the door lock, Sledge is like, yes, Sl the hammer, the hammer. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, y'all should have brought a pizza, so they would have thought somebody delivered a pizza. <laughs> so you 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 buzz the door and there's no response. Oh man, this is gonna get loud. I assume we're like down a hallway and at least around a corner from the entrance. Yeah. yeah. All right. I have no specializations in this, and this is going to fail miserably. I'm going to try and hack the door. <laughs> you can use security to help you with that, because you do know some security bypasses. In your time, you've probably had to bypass a door or two to get in to do a search warrant that didn't involve you kicking down the door. All right. Um, I will go ahead and use security. Submit. And secret, and bam. Okay, so you don't open the door. <laughs> you do your best to get through, which is just, it just, it's too tough for you to get through the door. I look at Sledge and say, aim for the hinges. <laughs> Sledge has a giant shit eating grin on his face. And he's like, oh yeah. He takes out his sledgehammer. Uh, let's, um, let's call this manual hacking. Cue sledgehammer. Cue sledgehammer by Peter Gabriel. Yeah. <laughs> sledgehammer. Um. Need to have that on like a voice command. <laughs> it's just, it's just a little clip of that song. Yeah. I want to be sledgehammer. <laughs> But I, I also, like, I look at him, I say aim for the hinges, and I step back and, like, present the door <laughs> Present to him. the door? All right. <laughs> so the, f the first hit, he managed to, like, he, he rears back and just, boom, right into the, to the door. You hear this loud crack as one of the hinges breaks off and sort of, like, leans inside. Uh, and then he leans back, re rears back, and, uh... Oh, wait, wait. I did the wrong thing because it's fighting. Try it again. Okay, so yeah, he leans back and he just cracks and the door just flies off the hinges into it. Like it bounces off the off the wall because it's, you know, lower gravity. Bounces off the floor and then skids to a stop inside the, like he fucking punted that door open. Um, and he sits there twirling his hand, sledgehammer and he goes, I know what I'm good for. And puts his <laughs> <laughs> making love and and using a sledgehammer and puts his uh, puts a sledgehammer on his on his back. I figure we've probably got about five minutes. I <laughs> just step into the room and right, you, uh, start looking around. Do you want to do as well, Mark? Yeah, I'll step into the room and try to like prop what's left of the door back up so. People passing by. <laughs> <laughs> the um, uh, give me some investigation checks. Uh, let's see. For this, uh, exception. Seeing or searching. Searching. Perception searching. So if you have searching, you can do that. But otherwise, okay. it should be perception. All right. Um, Pierce is not going to look with you. He's going to stand by the door waiting for people to see if people come by. Um, so you find um, mostly just clothing. Um, there's, there's a, a hand terminal in there. Uh, <laughs> there, um, there really isn't much cards to, um, just like, you know, normal stuff. Some, um, some, some clothing, some armor, you see a couple weapons, uh, that, you know, look like they probably belong to somebody, you know, uh, from a security standpoint, they look kind of in a holster, kind of hanging up on the, on the, on the, the back of a, a chair kind of thing. I take the magazines. Okay. 
Can we go down the rabbit hole with the investigation stunts? Uh, do we have stunts? You have stunts, Mark, if you want to do some investigation stunts. Give me some investigation stunts if you want to do some st investigation stunts. I, I said down the rabbit hole. <laughs> go for it. Oh, the, down the rabbit hole. This test, um, if this test led to a reveal, the GM provides a brand new lead about a new subject that will lead to greater rewards. Okay, so you <clears throat> find a, um, a picture printed, like a, like a photograph. Okay. The photograph itself looks like it's a group of scientists that you don't recognize, um, but they looks like it looks like a, some sort of like project picture. Like you've seen this before with like um, with like groups of scientists on projects or military when sure. they're like deploy that kind of stuff. Like they're, they're smiling and they're they're, they're there. Uh, they all have um, uh, lab coats on, and uh, there is one person you do recognize in there. Which is, um, let's see his name. Sebastian Pope, the, the very, um, not so, like, he's very elusive. Not many people have seen him in the last couple of years, but this is definitely a, pic yeah. a picture of Sebastian Pope with a group of scientists. And you see, uh, like the crew, some crew there as well who are in jumpsuits. Um, a they look similar to the to the people that Sloan and Cass pointed out. Okay, so I'm gonna snap a photo of this and send it to everybody. Well, everybody in our group. Uh, okay. Hey guys, this picture of Pope here. Let's say easy there, Holden. We're not we're not we're not sending it to the whole system, are you? Um... <laughs> I, I had to specify. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the Pope. <laughs> Why is he airdropping this to everyone? <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so yeah. Um, is there any searches I can do on the general network on these other faces? Um. Yeah, you could do some some searches on those on those faces. Give me a a, a searching intel. In, uh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that's a good one. Perception or intelligence? Because uh, I don't it's... have a specialization. This would just yeah, be yeah, trying... whatever I can find. I think this might be. Um. Communications. Give me a communi communication. Communications. Check. You got. Because yeah, you'll be using the network and stuff like that for that. Like communications research, yeah. Twelve. Twelve. Okay, so you find only other than obviously Sebastian Pope, you find one references to one one picture that matches another picture on the net, um, the wide wider net, and that is um, Nari um, Dreek. Is a. She's a well-known um, scientist with lots of ex uh, lots of experience in life support, um, and um, was was at one point uh, was one point to be the head of the Navu's life support systems, but was um, not she, because she wasn't Mormon. She was a controversial pick, and she ended up going with another project somewhere else. Uh, it was the last last thing you heard, and that was like three years ago. Okay. Did you say whether or not there were? Uh, awesome. Go ahead. Uh, did Did you say whether or not there were any uh, jumpsuits for the hazard uh, in the hotel room? Yes, there are. Is there a duffel anywhere? Yeah, there's duffels. All right, I grab a duffel and stash like a few of the jumpsuits for the hazard. Okay. As well. Okay, so you got a, a handful like what? How many? Two, three, six? Uh, three probably. Okay. Three. All right, so you grab Just a couple enough, of them, uh, like basically stuff a duffel with them. With them, okay. So you grab one of the yeah. duffels and you stuff stuff a duffel full of full of the the suits. Um, okay, uh, and um, <clears throat> as you're stuffing the duffel full of full of suits, um, you get a uh, there's a knock on the door, <laughs> and the door kind of shatter like rattles a little bit, and like like Pierce is holding it up like against the wall against the uh, against the the frame. And he goes, who, who is it? 
And the uh, the voice behind it goes, "This is um, security. We 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 have reports of a loud smashing sound." <laughs> uh, I I like I put on I put on my stumble. Okay. And I I stumble over to the door, and uh-huh. I I like edge it open a little bit, and I know it's pulling away from the. Yeah. And I I speak this very breathily, so the whiskey smell. <laughs> Okay. Is definitely coming across. And like, I'm really sorry. Uh, I thought it opened from the other side and I was, I just needed to come in and take a nap. Um, <laughs> build it to the, the, the ship, the hazard. Okay. Give me a, um, yeah. that's definitely a, Deception check, but you don't have. I'm sure you don't have deception. Give me a communications check. No, so just communication. Yeah. <laughs> Mediocre. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, uh, going back to jail. <laughs> <laughs> the the like the security. You see the security officer push the door a little bit. Looks at you and goes, "Sir, who the hell are you?" You're not one of the one of the residents of this uh, of this uh, of, of this room. Oh, is this not my room? <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's. I'm gonna have to ask you to come with me, sir. I uh, I motion for, like I just sort of uh, I, I I say okay okay, I I try to I I grab the edges of the door. Uh-huh. And try, position it between me and him for a second, and I just sort of head nod towards Sledge and hope he picks up. I on quietly what I'm saying. hide. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Sledge pulls out his sledgehammer and looks at you. Goes, and I I step <laughs> back with the door <laughs> <laughs> to let Sledge take a swing at him, and and then basically I turn the door ninety degrees and duck. So Sledge can swing over me. <laughs> okay. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Oh, don't, don't murder him. <laughs> A shiver murdered. runs down my spine, and I turn to Buster, and I go, Are, are we the baddies? <laughs> <laughs> Did you just feel like something went wrong, too? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Buster and the force there. <laughs> he, he swang. And he knock him out. Just knock him out. Don't, don't kill him. Does hit. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. I don't think a sledgehammer has settings on it. Our DM is like, oh, you guys. Oh man. <laughs> I figured you'd just go with them and then just like. Uh, Guess who will <laughs> never ever follow Cass around again. <laughs> uh, let's Sorry, see who's this. Um, <laughs> There are lives on the line here. His. Who's got... <laughs> also scientists. Also scientists, yeah. Uh, so he's also going to um, do. Let's go to two. Oh god. Okay. Um, so. Let me uh, roll for his security guard's defense. Oh Jesus, guys! Um, I was not prepared for you to go f- to go full murder hobo in the no. first couple of okay. minutes of this. Is there any back I, I exit like to this know. room? Mark's looking. It is Sledge's choice whether this is a lethal blow. Yes, I think um, it's the Sledgehammer's choice. Actually, <laughs> they are one and the same. <laughs> it's Peter Gabriel's it, choice, everybody. In in the way that you are a hat in hum- inhabiting a man. Well, I suppose yes. Yeah. <laughs> what do you put it okay. that way? <laughs> um, let me pull open this guy's. Uh... The back way out is there. <laughs> do, do you the are Vulcan stuck right I'm now. I'm looking. It's a space game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that still works, right? <laughs> who needs who needs a nerve pinch when you've uh, when you've got a goddamn uh, sledgehammer? sledgehammer. 
I don't know, uh, people who want to have less crazy shit happen, maybe? Like, yeah. you know? <laughs> Most people don't hang around us. The worst that's gonna happen is we'll cave this guy's rib cage in. To be honest, I'm totally glad my character isn't there right now. <laughs> <laughs> I may have some regrets. <laughs> Instant regrets. Um, mm. Go with... There we go. Uh, it's roll to it's one d six for the soak up, right? Uh, yes. Uh, so he got fourteen damage. Um, so he would soak some of that from toughness based on yes. um, constitution and armor. So yeah, so he doesn't have to soak anything up right now. But he currently has very, he's in pain. Uh, so you turn, he is already revved up, and he just swings the sledgehammer, connects to the guy, hits him, uh, hits him, and he flies to the side, like 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 goes to the side <laughs> and hits the ground, or not hits the ground, oh, but like God. like catches himself on the door frame as he as he flies to the side with like a huge amount of pain uh, in his side. <laughs> um, <laughs> I feel like now, really bad for this guy. <laughs> let's uh, I don't let's roll for initiative for right now. This is not gonna. It's only one guy, so it's not gonna take very long. But I, I do I do want to get some initiative between uh, Mark, Gas, Pierce, and uh, Okay, so we've got uh, him going first. All right, so um, the, the security guy catches himself, um, goes back to the door, pulls out his um, his baton, and uh, will uh, try to swing and hit um, Pierce. And doesn't. He's too hurt. He's just like super surprised. He pulls out his baton and goes, you know, it's not his baton, but his like a collapsible baton. One of those like those things. Pulls yeah. it out and just you know, goes to swing at him and just barely misses. So now it is, um, uh, Mark, you're up. Still looking for a way out of this. <laughs> there is no way out but that no, door. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> um, then taking cover somewhere in that room out of the way. All right, so like it, it's like a typical hotel room where you've got like a small hallway and then the, immediately off that hallway, you've got to the right, you've got a bathroom. And then the I'll hallway opens up, opens up into like a big, to, to the bedroom itself with a couple bed, like three beds in there. So- Okay, I'll be around the corner in the bedroom. Yeah, okay, so you're just sitting there waiting. Uh, yep. Next, Sweet. next, Next, it is um, Pierce, who's going to take another swing. Oh, god damn. Um, and he misses. So now it is Cass, you're up. <laughs> I'm going to pop up from behind the 90 degree door, just like drop the door, pop up, and just try and jam the guy in the nose. Give me a fighting. <laughs> <laughs> Boop. <laughs> oh, you hit him. So roll All right. It's a, uh, uh, it's basically a strength uh, check for the day. Okay. That seems high. Isn't it just one d six plus strength? Um, the damage is one d six plus plus strength. Yes. Gotcha. Okay. Is there a way to just roll? I don't have my. Oh, I haven't added a, a melee you, attack. One you, second. Yeah, you can add a melee attack. roll 1d6. Yeah. Oops. And just do this. And roll for damage. Strength. Okay. Not a lot, but I whack him in the face. <clears throat> okay. 
and you whack him in the face, um, and he kind of seems to like shrug it off. Like you, you punch him, and he kind of like it kind of like connects against his forehead. You hit him, and he goes back and just let's do this. Let's go. Come on. Uh, and now he it's um, his turn again. Uh, he is going to try to hit you this time, Cass, with his baton. Hit. Uh, my defense is. I mean, probably. I'm just. Yeah. This. I'm still learning this character sheet. Uh, yes, defense. that will hit. Okay. So, uh, this <laughs> is one. Probably doesn't even bypass your toughness. Nope. <laughs> Doesn't even do any damage. <laughs> you just whack at each other back and forth. Now it's Pierce. Slap fight. Pierce. Yeah, slap fight. <laughs> Pierce's t- turn to do, do something. He uh, is going for the swing again. He's gonna go for a, his his like brutal strike. So he's gonna take a negative two to this and hits. Um, so he gets plus two damage with stunts. With stunts. Oh shit. Okay. So I know what stunts he likes to use. I'm double check to make sure that those 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 damage stunts are still good. The head explode one, right? The, yeah, the one that he did, <laughs> like like he does like like double damage when he hits. Yeah. Um. Don't kill the guy, guy. Um, it's fucking Pierce. Pierce doesn't have an off switch. Oh. <laughs> I feel bad for the guy. I. Can I spend fortune points for the guard? Uh, <laughs> to restrain um, Pierce. He usually would do disarm and then he would do lethal blow. Uh, but that's not it's five points, he's doing lethal blow. So he's doing an additional two D six on this damage. Uh oh Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay, this is gonna be fun. Uh Roll for damage for the sledgehammer. Um, modifiers none. Eleven. Okay, and then he's gonna roll for damage again with initial modifiers minus minus three because he doesn't get his strength bonus for the second one. Uh, so he did 22 damage on that attack Um, let me paint the scene as Pierce paints the the hallway with blood Um, (laughs) he just gets frustrated with all this slap fighting leans back with his sledgehammer and goes and then goes down on the guy's head, crushes it like a melon, and explodes the body everywhere. Parts of his collarbones kind of crack and explode, and he goes down with the force and and impacts the ground and bounces a little bit and then flops. There's just blood. It's like Gallagher. Blood just splattered everywhere. I am drinking out of watermelon right now, okay? I need to chill the shit out. Guys. I immediately spit. <laughs> okay. It wasn't me. Jesus Christ, Carver. <laughs> what? Remember, uh, Bull said Bull said he didn't want um, he didn't want um, he didn't want injuries. He didn't care about in, he, did, he want, didn't want injuries. He didn't care about uh, about body bags. Room. <laughs> What's up? I, I you uh, broke up there. Get, I, I like look at him and I look at the body. I'm like, get that in here right now. <laughs> okay. So uh, no, okay. So he pulls the door away, and drags cleaner. the body in, <laughs> into the uh, into the room. I put the door back up. Uh huh. I step over to the bathroom really quick and grab a rag. <laughs> <laughs> just clean yourself off with. Yes. There is something the fuck wrong with you guys. <laughs> what? That's in character. Yeah. <laughs> he looks at you and goes, what? He wanted, he was trying to stop us. Okay. New <laughs> signal. If I nod twice, it means unconscious. Oh. Uh, 
All right, man. You gotta be more specific. When this thing comes out, I'm I'm swinging for the fences. <laughs> I just realized that his full name represents all three types of damage. <laughs> Pierce, sledge, and carver. Yeah, so it's yeah. piercing, bludgeoning, bludgeoning, and cutting. And cutting. Slicing, yeah. Oh, God. Anyway. <laughs> I can't read that. Stop killing everything. <laughs> it says stop killing every NPC. <laughs> oh, NPC. I should have gotten a mark for that. I I'm just going to say it. It's the human and the belter. It's nothing to do with the march. <laughs> <laughs> the earthing and the earth and the march. We good. Yeah. Yep. Martians think that messed up. <laughs> okay. No. I. March pride. March pride. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. Okay. I I drag the body and throw it into a bathtub just so as it drains, it's not being oh. a giant puddle. Oh, y'all are uh, making me throw up if y'all keep... For, for, new, for, for new viewers who are watching this live, uh, and if you're listening to this or watching this everywhere else, uh, they call him the Sledge because he uses a sledgehammer. Um, and this is not the first head he's exploded in this campaign. <laughs> it is kind of a th running theme with Sledge that he murders people with sledgehammers. Yeah, we need uh, a um, bot counter for for sledges. <laughs> for sledges, uh, let's see. He killed yeah. the um, the the gang leader on on Ganymede with it. He killed uh, one of the um, gang members in the first episode with it. Um, episode one, episode two, he killed somebody. No, th episode two, he killed somebody with it at the at the lab. He is he has sledged one person to death every a combat encounter he's been part of. No, except for the um except for the um uh, the bounty hunter. But the bounty hunter he he sledged a um um uh, a uh no he he com almost completely failed with that one, remember? He kept almost yep. dying with that one yeah. or getting knocked out. So, so. I'm also checking this guy over. Is he hotel security or is he an actual cop? He's hotel security. Okay, good. At least we didn't murder a cop. <laughs> no, just 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 a, 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 a cop. Just just <laughs> middle aged, just just innocent dude, good, not well paid guy yeah. that just was doing his job, guys. That's why I told you not to kill him. <laughs> hey, look at him. Look at him. He was probably single. <laughs> Aw, y'all are mean. <laughs> it's the only way I can make myself feel better. <laughs> Alright, so you clean yourself off, um, and Sledge is looking like back and forth after he cleans off his hammer a little bit and goes, we probably need to get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I, I mm -hmm. quickly grab the guy's hand terminal and like tap the same video surveillance footage we had of the kidnappings Okay. over to it. Just okay. so that Maybe it looks like he was looking into this too. Okay, okay. So you uh, <laughs> quickly that. try to take you take it with you. Um, you yeah. guys get out. Um, the um, uh, as you guys are walking out, there, there are two. There are two exits. There's the there's the exit out the front, and you notice there is an emergency exit on the other side. So emergency exit is going to set off more alarms. I say we just go through the front. I didn't do anything. I'm cool going out the front. Sweet. Okay. Okay. So, as you guys go out the front, the guy in the front is standing by the doorway looking you going. He's going, where's Jim? Oh, you. Anything? Oh, uh, uh, the the guard? Yeah, where is he? I heard some scuffling. Oh, he he passed us in the hallway. Um, I don't know. I just walk out. <laughs> <laughs> you just walk out. He doesn't stop you. Um, <laughs> God damn it! Oh, see, this is this is what happens when Haven doesn't show up. I have to use him as a murder device. Uh, <laughs> you guys, you guys managed to make it up pretty quickly. Um, now you're outside. What do you do? Let's cut back to um, uh, Sloan and Jata while this whole 
shenanigans are happening. So while they're murdering a, a poor security guard, uh, what are you doing? I hope they're as bored as I am right now. <laughs> um, well, our goal was to, or out of character, our goal was to hack to see if we could get any information out of them or mm -hmm. at least keep them distracted from going back to their room. Yeah. Yes. We're going to have the potential of doing so. So and I was... So, yeah. you're, you're, you're trying to hack them still, Jatah? Yeah, I was going to um, give that another shot. All right, give it another shot, and then Sloan, what do you want to do after that? Um, I... If if I need to, and I'm going to tell Jatah this, if, if you need me to like kind of distract them from looking at their hand terminals, I might be able to pull that off. All right, it shouldn't be a problem for now, but uh, if it is, I'll give you the nod. In fact, uh, why don't you go with your charms now, hey? Huh? And I'll uh, I'll give this a shot. I have an idea. Um, oh. I asked the waiter or the bartender um, mm -hmm. to send them like each a shot. Like I'm sending them a round of shots. Okay. And I want the bartender, like, and I'll, I'll kind of like, I'll kind of move off a little bit. So I'm not so right next to Jata, mm -hmm. but I'm like kind of close enough that he could say something to me. And, okay. It's so like, like a couple of stools down kind of thing. Like, yeah, exactly. Like we look like we're not really here together, you know? I'll, uh, I'll set your, your hand terminal to vibrate. That way, if anything happens, you'll know, and it won't like, uh, set off yeah. any alarms. Right. Okay. Awesome. And so she's gonna and she's gonna have like the waitress or whoever like be like the lady over there wanted you guys to yeah. have these. And then is and you know and if they look over, I'm gonna do the like because I have like a, a club soda, so it probably looks like a drink and just kind of raise it to him and like wink. Like I'm hitting all, on all three of them. <laughs> 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 Th throwing stuff to see what sticks. <laughs> so. Uh... Do they turn and look at her yet? Uh, so you were, so what was the last part you were doing? Other than so like, you, she you was going to distract them. So I'm going to wait for that distraction to then start hacking again. Yeah. So, so Sloan, just, just describe to me, you said you were going to give them shots and you said specifically from you and what else were you going to do? Yeah. I'm just going to be sitting at the bar and when they're served to them and they, they hopefully the waitress says, oh, the lady over there sent them mm -hmm. over i'm gonna do the whole like hey like, hey, hey yeah what's up y'all y'all look like you're ready to party <laughs> all right so here's how this is gonna happen so first off you buy them a round of drinks the waitress goes over hands over hands the sh shots they go mm, and then she points over to you and you kind of go hey um instantly one of the guys stands up and walks right next to you sits down saddles up has that kind of like hey baby kind of look at his face and goes so, you're a Martian too, I see. Very Look, much like so. Winks. And goes, uh, oh, uh, you know, you don't see too many Martians out in this, this direction. No, you don't. And he, he's he's doing the, the the flirt. He's trying to, you know, he's like, uh, why don't you and I uh, do be good Martians and see if we can't. Uh, uh, I think of a bad, bad whoa, pickup whoa, line. Whoa, 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 whoa! Slow down, cowboy. Find the kaboom. Find the kaboom. Why don't, and, and why don't let me, we all let me, let me terraform that, that, that ass. You know. <laughs> oh my god! Come on! Come on! He's drunk. He is okay, he's, drunk he's as good. shit. Yeah, he's he 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 tries to go from zero to a hundred really quickly while this is happening. Okay, and Jata. I just, I'm like I'm like whoa, whoa, whoa up, cowboy. Jata, whoa. go ahead and uh, give All me right. the, the hacking hacking thing. Okay, okay. additional modifier is zero, and uh, so me. I believe. <coughs> you have stunt points, so you can use those if you want. Um, I believe. All right. Oh, oh, you you did good. <laughs> <laughs> Me too good. Ooh. All right, so I have my thing here. So some some stunts would be for this would probably be infiltration stunts. You're infiltration to... or investigation. Either one would work, uh, depending on if you could, you know, describe how they might be used. Okay. Um, I think I will use breakthrough on investigation stunts. You, you gain not only information, but some form of incontro um, incontrovertible proof. Yeah. Um, or you reduce okay. the total number of... Um, uh, yeah, so you reduce the total number of leads uh, 
on the path by one, jumping the further point. Okay, so you get a little bit further along, but you're right. still running. You're still running into some firewalls and some blockage. These guys have some some major security on their on their hand terminals. Okay, is, so this is not a success yet, is it? I'm no, still working you, on it. You're still working okay. on it. Yeah. All right. Uh, so you, you can come hear on, the come on. Sloan, you can hear the uh, the other people laughing, and uh, the guy uh, looks at you and goes, oh, "Okay, okay, sorry. It's just been a long time since I've seen a pretty a, a, pr- a pretty girl that wasn't uh, speaking at me in some sort of weird fucking language." Um, Understood. Why don't you let me join you and your friends for a little bit, and uh, you know, we'll see what happens. Yeah, you bought us to drink. I'm Go just for looking it. for a little company, to be honest. But you know, we'll see what kind of company that turns out to be. <laughs> he gets really like he goes from kind of going, eh, kind of feeling a little dejected because you're like, whoa, whoa, to being like when you say that, he goes, ha, 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 ha. yeah, yeah. Let's see. And, and so, then, yeah. <laughs> then he um, he leads you back to the table and goes, hey, I'm uh, my name's. Um, Jay, I'm the co-pilot of uh, of, of uh, the fastest ship in uh, in Tycho Station. Ooh, Points over fancy. to the tall the tall woman and goes, "That's our, our pilot, um, Mia." And he looks over the short uh, short guy and goes, uh, "And that's uh, that squat over there is uh, is is Hague. He's the he's our security guy." I kind of sure do the safe. handshake with each of them. Like, yeah. Nice to meet you guys. I'm I'm not gonna give them my real name. <laughs> Sorry, let me think of a name out here too fast. Uh, shit. Uh, doo dee, doo dee, I don't know. Doo dee, I can't think of a name. Um, Jennifer. Doo 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 Thank doo you. Doo doo. Yeah, my name's Jennifer. So, oh. hey, Jennifer. Uh, what what brings you to you know you know what's what's with the drinks? What's what's with ordering drinks? Oh, well, y'all just look like a friendly group, and I'm here by myself. I mean, I had, a, you know, I had a couple people, like, I was sitting next to you earlier, but I didn't really know them. They were just some dudes. They were, you know, they seemed kind of boring, so I thought I'd come over here and... The, the squat guy You guys guy look looks... like you're having a good time. What are, what are we drinking other than the shots I just sent y'all? So the squat the squat guy, the, the short earther guy, uh, looks, looks you over and kind of just, like, quietly says to you, kind of like leans over quietly says to you and goes... Don't try to hustle them. They uh, none of them have enough credits for services, and uh, I don't think you whatever you whatever scam you're pulling. I don't I don't know what it is. Uh, just just know that's like I lean over to him. You know, I kind of quietly say to him, "I'm no, I, I'm literally just a person just hanging out and being sociable. If I was gonna scam you, it would have already happened, honey." He goes, I "Stop being Martian racist, Scott." She's, I, no, it's I just uh, spacist. <laughs> spacist. He goes, I just uh, no. I'm. Do I'm I look like attention. the kind of person that needs your money? He looks no. at you and goes, he, "You look like some. Uh, you, you, you're acting like a, a hooker, but but look, but don't look like it at all. That's why I'm. You're a hooker. You. <laughs> hooker. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom's you a hooker. He kind of sh- he just sh- shrugs and then kind of leans back and kind of opens his uh, his jumpsuit a little bit. He's got like a shirt underneath, and you see like a holster, like intentionally showing you his holster and his, his gun, and then puts it back. And he goes, I just roll my eyes and I just like shake my head and just continue with the other two. So, so you guys are pilots. You're on a ship. That must be really exciting. Yeah. Um, uh, Jay's continues like we're the uh, fastest ship in Tycho Station. That's awesome. Yeah. Can I ask what ship it is, or is that like a company? Oh, the, ha- the Hazard. Yes. Uh, oh, Mark. I've heard. Yeah, that's a really impressive piece of work, I've heard. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're the fastest ship uh, with a record between here and Palace, and uh, we're just we're just badasses. Uh, we've been doing this for a couple of years now. Uh, now, I can't take all the credit, obviously. And he looks over at the uh, the tall belter woman, kind of gives her a big like slap on the back, like really hearty slap in the back, kind of friendly, and goes, um, um, "This this crazy uh, crazy belter can uh, can handle more G's than uh, than a Martian Marine." Um, awesome. She kind, of sh- she kind of shrugs, and goes, "Yeah, you know, growing up on ship, you know how to to deal with with these things." 
that's really cool that's Jay's one thing like, no. i think is really neat about belters I, I you know you guys you guys like have such a a wonderful um aptitude for it all right so uh Jata, are you gonna go try again yep all right so i shall do it once more uh no modifiers and go all right Dang, dude you are <laughs> killing it i'm so proud you, of you you finally get to be are able to break into the uh to, to pass the last bit of uh, of encoding there um, all right awesome you get, you're in their system what do you want to look for what do you want to do okay so um i have no stunt points so i can't add anything to that but i will use my um my fringer talent just uh to basically cover my tracks um so basically uh, what it is is that uh, you cover your own tracks well um, so anybody who would be trying to basically find out who it was that like hacked into the system suffers a minus two. And uh, um, what am I looking for? Well, I'm looking for, I guess, uh, ship manifest, where they're going and why and that kind of thing. Okay, so most of the um, the uh, the hand terminals you the, the two of the hand terminals you you've broken into because you got kind of into their the ship network as it were. Um, mm -hmm. with their, their communications uh, don't have much of anything uh, from the, the pilots the security one talks um, has he doesn't know a lot either but you see a couple of messages that he sent um, specifically to vector security other vector security members mm -hmm. um, <coughs> uh, about um, securing the passengers uh, and and handling deliveries. Um, that's all. That's all you hear. All right. Even with the breakthrough from my previous investigation attempt, um, it's very cryptic. Like everything right. that's being sent in there is very cryptic. Um, you can tell that there. Are, there are mentions of unscheduled stops at Herculania. Um, there, you know, there's mentions of the packages and of the passengers, but they're referred to as passengers. And you can see that he is, he's the one who's handling all of the drop-offs and pickups um, at Herculania, Herculania, based off his kind of communications logs with, uh, you know, in his, in his terminal with other text messages to other members of the ship and um, to other, you can see other me messages that he sent out and received from like factor security, but they're very strict. Uh, you also hear references to um, uh, um, Dr. Uh, Drilk, or Drake, Dr. Drake. Uh, 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 Dr. Drake. Drake. Okay. Drake. Yeah. That's all you, um, but you don't, you don't, you've not seen that name before. So you see that. All right. Oh, also Project Sandman. You see references to Project Sandman. Is that in, uh, in, to do with Dr. Drake? Yes. It's Dr. Drake and Project Sandman seem to be connected based off your just a simple, simple glance at these, these records. All right. And that's all I can glean from that is then. Yeah, it's very like it, the the their hand terminals are very like these guys obviously are part of the chain, but mm -hmm. you don't they don't seem to have in depth knowledge of what they're doing. They're just all right. Can I can I brick their hand terminals then? <laughs> yeah, uh, give me another security check or give me a security check for that one. Okay. Uh, Twenty one. They're bricked. <laughs> you bricked them, at least All for right. now. Like that, someone, someone, uh, someone who's skilled could take some time and like pull out the information. But for right now, they're they're useless. Right. Okay. Um, I use my hand terminal and I basically give Buster the signal that I'm done, unless she can get something else. All right. So you you like text her like I'm done or something like that. So Buster, you get a little yeah. like a little chime on your hand terminal and it says, "Yeah, I'm done." Yeah, it was the the vibration signal. Yeah, I just kind of glance and then just put it down like anybody will with a cell phone and sort of put it in my pocket or whatever I have with me to put it in, which I assume is oh. a pocket. I send, uh, I send her a message, though, to, um, asking her to ask about that guy's flaming pig tattoo because I remember 
the pig mission that we had before. Maybe it's linked yeah. in some way. Okay, she definitely takes note of that. So she'll work that into the conversation later. I said like a pig emoji with a question mark. Which one is it that has it? Is it the Martian or the Earther? It's the Belter. Oh, the Belter lady. Okay. You said dude earlier, so I Oh, thought... yeah, 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 yeah. My bad. Yeah, it was, it's the lady. Okay. Would I have been an angle to notice it myself at some point? Uh, like no, you've, you, you've not noticed it yourself. Okay. You, you don't okay. You don't know who, who has it. <laughs> so I can't just start oh, asking snap. about it. I didn't see it either, did I? No, yeah, it was I think only, I'm the only one who noticed the picture. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Then, then, then I take that back. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. It's how I'll I recognize them, but I didn't mention it. Yeah. Right. Okay, I take it back then. Almost metagame there. My bad. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. It happens. Sometimes it happens. You know, it's good that you remembered that it wasn't something you noticed. It's cool. All right. So, uh, how, are you going to still talk with them or are you going to work yeah, your way out yeah. conversation? Like, I don't want to just, you know, just so they, be like, oh, I hang out. Now I'm done. You know, yeah, the, um, the, uh, uh, the, the belter asks you like, you know, um, so she, she asks you a question. So all are, are you, uh, all, all of you, uh, Martians dust us the same when, when it comes to, uh, to, 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 to sports, because this, uh, Svalota over here and she points over to, um, Jay and goes, uh, goes won't shut the fuck up about that about sports, about uh, about Olympia and all these you know, these all these sports. He's just obsessed with it. I feel like all dusters are obsessed with this damn shit. Uh, is Olympia a specific sport or is it a specific? Uh, it's just it's just Olympia Mons. It's like you know you know Martian. I don't know what sports state they play on Mars, but there's definitely references to sports in in the Expanse universe. So I'll just say like football, baseball, you know, okay, soccer, just kind, that of kind of stuff. Face ver yeah, Martian yeah. versions of those. Yeah. Um, I'll just pretend like you know. I assume she probably did one when she was young in some capacity. So she'll. I'll just say, yeah. oh yeah, I I uh, I'm gonna say wrestling because that's something that's the one okay. sport I know the most about. I don't care. Oh yeah, yeah I was a I was a wrestler back when I was uh, young, er. Not that I'm not very young now, but you know, when I was a little younger, I that's I, I was pretty good at you know throwing down. Yeah. Uh, well, and then uh, Jay kind of laughs and goes, "Aren't we all though?" <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's true. I mean, you grew up on Mars. You got to serve Martians, the military at some point. You have to understand the way it works is like Martians, and I'm like looking at her and be like, Martians, you know, we we obviously like live in these domes, yada yada. And so mm -hmm. it's kind of like the one act, one of the few activities that we have that's doable in those places. And, you know, it's, it's like the extracurricular for everybody. I think a lot of people there focus on that because, you know, we got a lot going on. We're trying to, you know, build a whole world here. We're trying to terraform a world. So, well, they are back on Mars, but you know what I mean? Like they're just, it's just, it's something to pass the time between all that work and all the, all the things that Martians do. So. Yeah, and, we're a little. I guess we could say a lot of Martians are a little obsessed with sports. <laughs> and Jay, Jay's like, yeah, and we're also fucking ripped. And he like, like puts it his like <laughs> this up. It's like Mars breeds him big, baby. And just is like, like, like doing his like, like thing. And like the the, the woman hits him. It's like, shut the fuck up, Jay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she just laughs. She's just giggling and stuff and she kind of you know she looks at the earther guy she's like what about you earthers i mean y'all y'all have a lot of sports right most of us grew up on basic what's basic 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 income basic assistance most of us barely even barely even uh get by the luck the, those you see out here are the lucky ones that's you know that's that to me is like kind of the great travesty I think of of Earthers right now is there's so much there's so much that needs to be done out in the whole air like the whole galaxy whatever you want to call it, the whole system and it's sad that y'all are just, a lot of y'all are just limited to not being able to work regularly. You kind I mean, of Martians were were the exact opposite like everybody does something to contribute to society. He shrugs and goes, yeah. I just, My experience I just feel is you gotta be kind of, yeah. I mean, it, you gotta want to leave, and most of them don't. Most of them too lazy, too fat. Really? So it's, mm. it's like there's a lot of apathy there. I mean, I had friends who used to complain about not being able to get to university, but I can get to university. I spent five years working as a security guard at a damn 
parking lot before I got this job. Well, hey, good for you. Like you, you picked yourself up and you found something to do, you know? Yeah, That's but I mean, what? most of them just sit there, take the drugs, be you happy. Just let it be. Yeah. Uh, I couldn't, I couldn't live like that, but you know, good, good on you for, for moving out and out into the world and the, you know, whatever you're doing now, by the way, like what, so Ebenezer or not Ebenezer, they told me hazard. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, they call it the hazard, but it's the Ebenezer hazard. Yeah. What, what, I mean, if, if it's cool, like what, what do y'all do on that ship? Are y'all like a transport or y'all a touring ship? What are you, what are y'all doing? Like I've heard it vaguely. They go, we're just, you know. Cargo moat runs mostly. Um, we pick up some passengers every once in a while, but nothing big. And then Is they it for it, a specific company or are y'all independent? Uh, Pope Sanchez. They look at oh. it and kind of like show their. their, their oh, I think I've heard of Pope Sanchez. Like that's what do they yeah. do? It's like science you, or something. You, you would have heard of Pope Sanchez. We're the big biggest shipping shipping conglomerate in the system, oh, next to wow. uh, Mal Malkakowski. Malkakowski, but Malkakowski is you know. Well, you gone, know, gone ape shit into the, to the wild, into the wild recently. If y'all, uh, if y'all ever know if they're looking for any more people, like you know, I, I'm pretty good, uh, you know, communicator. Um, Jay pulls up his hand card? terminal and then swipes something to you, and on your hand terminal, something pops up. Okay, I look at it. Is it like a card? It's, Wait, how can uh, he do that? His hand terminal's broken. Oh, right, he's broken. So he pulls up his hand terminal and tries to swipe something and kind of goes, shit. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know. Something's wrong with my hand terminal. It's not working. It's not turning on. Oh, um, that happens here. I hear that happens in the station sometimes. All of the rest of them look at their hand terminals and do the same. They're like, yeah, mine's two. I'm like, the fuck? And I, I look at mine. I try to do the same with mine. I'm like, I mean, are you guys, is it your, are you guys on your ship network? I, I, and then the, the security guy looks at it, looks at you, and looks looks around, and goes, "We gotta go," and pulls them up. And they're like, "Wait, what? Oh. What are you talking about?" No, we gotta go now. And oh, he starts dang. dragging them away from the table, and he lo looks over at the bartender and kind of goes, "We'll be right back, uh, room twenty four next door," um, and then goes into uh, le leaves the bar. Oh, uh, okay, bye. So while you, while she was having this conversation, you guys who were leaving the scene of the crime. Uh, we're, uh, we're outside the, the bars seeing this whole conversation take place. Um, and you see them get up and walk away, like after they fuddled with their things and head, headed I towards kinda, the, the hotel. I kind of just shrugged, I, like, geez, like, like I'm being natural about like, okay, bye. Like, see you later. I just uh, send the, <laughs> I just send the group chat ship now. <laughs> All right. I, I like, linger for a minute before I don't want to look like like somebody who's just like running off like suspiciously. So, so you linger like, for a few minutes and then I linger for a minute, make sure I pay up my, my tab and mm -hmm. I just kind of, you know, hey to a couple people in the bar, you know, that kind of thing some passing by. Mm -hmm. I walk out. So you just walk out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right, you all meet each other outside the bar and head towards the ship. Mm-hmm. All right. I don't. I mean, I don't want to like look. Yeah. I just like I head towards the ship regardless of who I'm with. Right. Okay, so, so you just you, you just be lying. you three left, and then Jatal is right is close behind you, and then um, Sloan is the last Sloan. one yeah, uh, yeah. out to, to to lead. Yeah. All right. So before we reach the 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 the, um, the the ship, let's take a quick break so people can use the restrooms. You guys, you are watching us, can uh, grab some of the uh, grab some of the drink, take a restroom. Snacks. We'll be right back. It'll be about you know four or five minutes, and we'll be back. Uh, don't go anywhere, guys. Wait, so I can't get to the restroom? Yes. I like how you told them go take a break. Don't go anywhere, guys. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> take a break, yeah. but don't leave this stream. Leave it up. <laughs> keep watching. Yeah, keep watching.
see if we can get back in here. There. Hold on. And the pop in. And we're good. Okay, good. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. I wanted to, to take a quick break there, make sure everyone's ready to go. Hope you guys are still here hanging out with us. Thank you so much. If you were just pop tuning in, this is the Expanse RPG. This is season one of the Spice Must Roll. We're doing the Expanse RPG. Uh, we're with the crew of the Actium here, um, and they have just committed a crime and ran away from it. Uh, <laughs> I didn't do anything. <laughs> you didn't yeah. do anything. Some of us didn't commit a crime. So you guys Martians arrive. Martians were innocent. <laughs> you guys arrive at the uh, the state the ship. Uh, from your your escapades, and um, the woman that you guys asked to stay with you, because remember, there's the Belter woman who came to ask for help. She's still still there, kind of. You guys come in, she's kind of sitting there and goes, "Any new information?" As you guys are filtering in through the uh, airlock. I thought we sent her off. No, you asked her to stay there for. Um, no, you, you no, you did send her off. Your mind. Never I persuaded. I remember. I persuaded her not to talk about it. Talk about anybody. it, yeah. Because she wanted to tell somebody else that had somebody involved in all this, and we were like, no, don't spread any more information. Yeah. Uh, okay, so you guys um, managed to uh, get back to, to, to the ship. Um, Pierce is still looking at, like, he's still like, I don't know what I did wrong. I'm sorry if, if you guys are pissed off at me, but... Uh, what happened? What happened is this is getting fucking psycho. <laughs> what I, happened? I, I have, uh, when I start wow. swinging, I don't know how to stop, okay? He has a disease. No, I'm <laughs> <sorry>. <laughs> no but seriously, like, she's just like, what happened in there? Uh, Cap spins on his heel and, and points at Jata and like, uh, uh, can you hack into the hotel and erase some security footage? God damn it. I'll try. All right. So, um, I guess I go to. We're in the ship, right? Yes. I, I connect to whatever is the internet and I try and do it. The network? Okay. So give yes. me a technology check. First, give me a technology check and then give me an intelligence technology check and then okay. give me an intelligence security check. All right, so this is the technology check coming through, and that is going to be a an 18. Okay. And then the security check. And then the security check is going to be a 15. No okay. stunt die. So you, um, you are able to get in. Okay. Fairly, uh, fairly easily uh, into the network. Um, and Naturally. You have some difficulty into the to get hacking into the security footage, um, but you're able to get into the security footage. Right. You're rev You'll know you're what to fucking erase. <laughs> you look through the security <sighs> footage from where they were, and you see them entering, going to the room, trying to hack in, failing. Uh, Pierce knocking the door down, like blowing the door open with a sledgehammer. Oh then it seems. God. I'm then standing it over just, his shoulder watching this, and I'm just rolling my eyes. Then, then the it gets the, better. The door gets propped back up against the door. You don't see who does it, and then a security guard walks in, knocks on the door. The door slightly opens up, and you see Cass's face kind of peeking out. You don't. There's no audio. You see, you you see some sort of interaction, and then you see the door kind of lean back out of frame, and then you see a sledgehammer fly through uh, into the frame smacking the security guard in the side and have him to the side. He pulls out his baton and they start getting into a fight. You see Pierce, uh, you see uh, Cass you, like punch the guy in the face and then finally Pierce uh, like like swings down with the sledgehammer, crushes the, um, the, the, the security guard, guard's skull. A piece of the blood and brain matter smash into the uh, uh, into the camera itself, kind of knocking it ajar a little bit. It was you know, like that that violent. Then you see them drag the body inside, blood smearing on the carpet as they do, and then quickly leave. <laughs> Why? I see what happens. Um, is there a way you can just it loop just, it to be like ambient footage of nothing happening? Just fucking, just fucking delete it. <laughs> Don't just delete They're gonna it. find the bodies. They're gonna find the bodies. Something happened. <laughs> 
Uh, oh, that. Uh, so what can I do? What can I do? Uh, you can delete the footage. You, you can do All what right, you I, want to. Okay. I mean, like, uh, so I, I, I have three options in mind. One, I, I deep fake it so that um, it's the guys we met at the bar who mm. did it because I have all their information from the hand terminals and stuff. Yeah. You know, like their their um, belt book, or whatever you want to call yeah. it. Their, you, you have yeah. all of their information. You have all their, yeah. their, their, their stuff. So yeah. I, I, I want to try and deep fake those guys as these pools. <laughs> Dang, that's advanced. Okay, stuff. you could do that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. If, what are the other if options? I, if you, you share that, that's one of your ideas. Mm -hmm. Cast is like, oh, that's that's good, that's good. I put the um, I put the security footage of them kidnapping the, the guys on the guards' terminal. So it makes like, all right, if they did it because then it's Pope Sanchez trying to cover it up. Okay, well, let's give it a shot, shall we? So what is this? Another a technology or a security okay. shot? Uh, so. This is going to be a multiple ch uh, skill check. You're going to have to do multiples of these. Oh, um, God, okay. To make sure to do this, because this is really complicated. Is there assisting right. allowed in this game? If you guys want to try to help, you can. If you think you have the technology or skills to help out, you can. But you have to give your own check for it. Right. I don't really um, have anything that would... If, in, if intelligence security would come up. Yes, I intelligence security would come up. Uh, this would be a technology, a security... Um, a research, a, um, so I have, I have a, uh, a thing called hacking and it basically with it, anything that needs to be a research can be used as a, uh, what is it again? I can do technology for it instead. Okay. You can do, then, yeah. So you could do, instead of doing uh, research, you, you can do, use, do use that. Um, there's also B, uh, let's see if there's, there's it. give me a crafting as well, because this would require uh, a little bit of like, like artistic. You'd have to kind of know how the systems work and like blend the faces in and kind of mess up the footage just enough, that kind of thing. Crafting. So someone would need to give me a crafting check, which is, what a is dexterity. Crafting? It's dexterity. Yeah, that. Okay, I'll help. Um, I don't have crafting, but I'll help with that. She's got it. Uh, someone her. would have to give me an intelligence security, and someone would have to give me an intelligence um, technology, technology, and or technology research, or and, uh, and, and research. But you can do both the research as and the technology, just just two rolls of technology. All right, so I guess I'll do technology twice, and then okay. uh, Cass can do the security one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and also send uh, stun points okay. on that roll. Uh, okay. Or not stun points. Um, You're going to fortune, uh, fortune. fortune point. Okay. To change it, I don't know if there are relevant stunts. <laughs> um, but uh, I the, for for that would be probably let me look at some stunts. Uh, could be general social stunts, um, and or um, yeah, general social stunts might might work. You look through that or members, membership membership um, you know and representation stunts. Stunts could work. You know what? I'm just gonna. Uh, well, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spend six fortune points because I really want this to not come down on us. Okay. <laughs> uh, to change the two into a six. Okay. So uh, you go. So. so you have six fortune points. So essentially, you're taking changing the two into a six. So you're getting um, six drama. So you're getting six total yeah. uh, stunt points. Okay. Yeah, and eighteen is the result now with, with that change. Okay, um, I'm the counting. I, I I I forgot to mention uh, this is something I've been doing for a while. Is the churn pool? So the churn pool is 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 a thing, which means every time you get a six on the drama die, every time you spend fortune, um, <laughs> it's, it's um, it, it adds to point. Every time you you use more than more than f uh, four stunt points to perform a stunt. 
um, or over to overcome an encounter or a hazard, you would uh, have add, add at least one point to the churn pool. So just letting you guys know that. There's a cool infiltration stunt that seems like it would work very well in this situation. Okay. It's called It Wasn't Me. It's four stunt points. It says you leave evidence and other characters responsible for the results of your test, such as breaking and entering, cheating at cards, or uploading a computer virus. All failed tests to investigate the truth reveal that the person is the culprit, and such tests suffer a negative two panel penalty. All right. Well, that Sweet. seems like exactly yeah, what we're trying to do here. I'm doing, yeah. yeah. I'm glad I saw that because I was like, oh, there it is. <laughs> and Jatai, you have five stunt points as well, so you can do that as well. Uh, yes, please. Okay. I'm doing that, and then I'm spending the other two stunt points that I have on calming the waters to reduce the churn pool. Okay. There you go. <laughs> and then I also have uh, my ta fringer talents. So yeah. basically, they will suffer a negative two penalty to try and find more information about us. And so, so what negative four untreated. penalty. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh dang. <laughs> now nice. the last one. The last one you need to do is the crafting. So if Sloan wants to do the uh, the dexterity check. Yeah, yeah, can. yeah. Where's the thingy? There it is. Okay. Dex. Submit. See She's got those Photoshop uh, skills. 88. Maybe. Ooh, I didn't do too bad. I didn't do bad. So you, um, you think you make a very convincing thing. And because you guys have been doing this for a while, I will let you guys, you didn't say this, but I assumed, I assumed based off of your roles, you did this, which is you edit out the footage of the of you breaking down the door, um, yeah. Uh, so, the, the, so it looks like there's no like no one comes in to break down the door. It just looks like the door's off its hinges. The, the security guard arrives. It looks like the um, uh, the uh, the crew is the ones who open the door and then hit them with a sledgehammer and then drag them inside and then leave. Yeah. Um, can we make the sledgehammer look like a bat? <laughs> yeah. You can edit that okay, well. I'm doing that because I okay. don't want it. He's like literally the only person on the station probably carrying a fucking sledgehammer. <laughs> <Cut our sledgehammer. laughs> so it looks like, like they're going to look at him and say, we need to cool it with the sledgehammer because <laughs> that is very distinctive of you. It's like, that's the point. Yeah, <laughs> but when we're trying to cover up a crime you committed. I, I I promise to not try to kill anyone from now on. You guys happy? I'll just yeah, I'll just knock them out permission. for everyone. Yeah, knock people out. Don't kill. Uh, meanwhile, Cass is just sitting here like that's gonna last about five minutes. <laughs> well, uh, being sober is gonna last five minutes, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> I don't blame you at uh, this point. <laughs> so you feel like you have successfully covered up your crime. <laughs> All right. I like how Jata like and I like and then of course Cass like covered up the crime other people committed. <laughs> <laughs> this was most I mean, certainly not in the I mean, job Cass, description. Cass was for, uh, pretty much an accessory, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. It's very very inventive. I, I don't know if Mark is actually here. I'm going to just step away for a moment. Okay, he is here. Yeah, um, good, good call. I was, I was going to fake. I was going to let you know. Um, uh -oh. Um, I um, I wanted to let you know that you, you, when you came in, you noticed that both of the turrets had been installed, and the Perfect. the there was a message left on the terminal for you, letting you know that the um the the torpedo bay had been installed. Awesome, awesome. So cool. the, the torpedo point. Fun. We'll have fun with that later. <laughs> <laughs> So right. I guess then everybody would notice as we walked in that there are turrets in our airlock. Well, you don't see turrets because what they what they are is these domes that like they uh -huh. pop out and these things fall straight down and then open up. Gotcha. So they look okay. like little like they look like kind of like like those light domes only they kind of like sure. open up. You've seen one of these when you're on Ganymede, the one that uh, that uh, Sloan hacked into when you first arrived. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right. Now, all of that so, being done. What's the plan? What do we know, Jata? Did you pull mm. anything? And did you guys pull anything? We haven't discussed that yet. So, yep. what did everybody uh, figure out? Right. I've so, shared everything that uh, that I found. Okay. I shared everybody what I found as well. 
I tell them about um, just to, to to recap. I tell them about the messages sent to uh, Vector Security about security about securing passengers and handling deliveries. Um, they made some unscheduled stops at Herculaneum, and um, th there were references to a Doctor Drake and okay. Project Sandman. Okay. Does any of that ring a bell to anybody? Uh, Mark, when he says Doctor Dra uh, Dra Drake. Um, you recognize mm -hmm. it's similar to the name of the doctor that you saw in the picture and you looked up. Okay. Okay. So I, I've already shared that picture and the article of the other doctor. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you guys yeah. would have, you would have known that, uh, Jata, because you have had that on your hand when he sent you that, that article and that picture. Okay. So. By the way, I look at the picture and is there anything on the back of it? Yeah, it says Project Sandman. Project Sandman. Okay, mm -hmm. so you guys ever heard of Project Sandman? Not that I'm aware of, but we can see if we can find something out about that. Um, okay. And I'm gonna I'm gonna share with you guys just real quick uh, that those people I talked to at the bar, the three people, the lady was the pilot, the Martian was the co-pilot, and the Earther was a security guy. Those damn murderers. <laughs> oh, the little murderer! Uh, she says sarcastically. I don't. Uh, pr so throwing this out there, Project Sandman, based on what we know about the kidnap scientists and about uh, what's his face, the the Sebastian Pope's uh, eccentricities. Mm-hmm. 90% chance this is about cryogenics. This is what I'm putting out there. Like, cryogenics is in, uh, this is the out of character, like, making people sleep for a long time? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cryosleep, basically, yeah, which cryo isn't sleep. a thing. Yeah, which isn't a thing currently in the Expanse universe. Yeah, it is It is something they've been researching, but it's not something that has been It has been made. Was it, okay, the people that, that originally were just the ones that we were looking into, they were, like, bio... Life support right. specialists. Yeah. Life support. That makes sense. So, yeah, I'm going to say those people that are missing are life support specialists or scientists. Didn't one of them have a pet total... cryogenics project? Yeah, that was I the, the so. other doctor. Yeah. Yes. I still have no more. Right. But, yes. So, cryogenic theory. I'll, take, I'll send you all these notes later. I'm taking them on my tablet so I can give them to you all. I think at this point we probably need to head to that damn asteroid. Yeah, it's probably and, about time. And not for nothing, I'd like to be off this fucking station. <laughs> she looks at Mark, so we got those weapons that you ordered, well, let's right? Let's do it. So sure. I know we're going to asteroid 432, but uh, can someone refresh my memory as to why? So when uh, when the, uh, the ship... Um... Is it Hazard? That's the they haven't stop they've been making. But yeah, the two times that we know of that they've kidnapped somebody, they took a longer trip than usual to get to their destination. And all of the puzzle pieces point towards them going to that asteroid to drop off the kidnap victim. So and what does this have to do with Herculaneum? Herculaneum is asteroid is asteroid four uh, four three two. Yeah. Okay. It's a yeah. name for it. It's an old, um, an old mining. It was an old um, uh, mining station. Like the, it's they, five three two. Yeah, I wrote that note down. Five three two. Yes. Five three two. Okay. <laughs> I'm just like, dang it! I wrote that down. <laughs> <laughs> I have that note. I here. have that note. <laughs> so, <laughs> if if we're going to find our kidnap scientists, that's the next stop. And I think finding them is the ticket to our payday. So. That so, you want me to get us underway? What do we know about? First of all, what do we know about this? Is this an asteroid that 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 like accepts just any traffic, or is it tra only sex? It, it it's accepts. abandoned. That's it's supposed right. to be abandoned. Okay, thank you. Yeah. It's abandoned. So, if anything happens, we can pretend to be a, a ship that is like either it's a navigation system, like something's wrong that we have to stop off there. Mm -hmm. Maybe I, I we need to come up with like an excuse to be there in case we do get contacted. I mean, 
we could pretend like we're meant to be there, and I like zip open the duffel that's full of uniforms from the Ebenezer Hazard. You oh, only took shit. three, right? <laughs> <laughs> The thing is, is there's a Belter, a Martian, and an Earther on that on that on that uh, that that ship. So these should be about the same sizes too, for right sizes for you guys. <laughs> so huh. if we're gonna do that, then that means probably Pierce. Like I would assume that Meyer, or pardon me, not Meyer. Um, cause you NPC'd is... me. What the heck? Sorry, <laughs> Sorry. Jata. I, I think maybe it, if we get there and we only have three of these suits, it would be wise to keep you on ship for hacking purposes if need be. All right. Suits me. I'll, uh, I'll watch you through your comms or your hand terminals or something. And then they're expecting... So those are size for a Belter, a Martian, and a... Yeah, you have like 11. Of them so Cass is gonna found. have you to stuffed be the in there. Earthers. Yeah, I just I just like jammed them all in there. He just grabbed a bunch that were like laying around and like oh, jammed he grabbed them in the a duffel. bunch. Yeah. Oh, okay. So there's more than three. Okay, sorry. No, sorry. no. Uh, Paul said three in total. Oh. There's okay. three. There are three. There are three of them. And I asked specifically, did he have? Did you ask? Just, did you get three? So I just grabbed them and stuffed them in a duffel. So I'm assuming so there, are three, just, there are three sizes. But there are three we have sizes. But you have for enough everybody. for like eleven different people. Oh, okay. Okay. Hey, right, <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, yeah, I misunderstood. Thank you. If, if you th ever think about like grabbing, like if you went through like your closet and started grabbing clothes and just stuffing it into a duffel yeah. bag, like that—that that was the kind of thing I was assuming. So yeah, I'm just yeah, yeah, grabbing, yeah. you know, the um, the jumpsuits and throwing them into a duffel bag. So. Right on. So yeah, we'll definitely need at least, we need to be able to play this. So yeah, let's just head our way over and I guess we can do some research on the way and figure out what we need to know to get through. Okay, okay so you guys, so, if you guys, guys are ready to leave? If you guys are gonna let it ready to leave, um, you do know that you need to get like a, a flight, log a flight plan and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to go to the station that the hazard normally goes to on the route. Yep. For that. Okay. Yeah, Herculaneum. No, no, Herculaneum's where we're stopping, but the hazard makes unscheduled stop there's on its so way to Eros. Is to it going to Eros? Uh, it is. Uh, Eros is already in, in, in BS. Right, no, uh, right. Sorry. Different campaign. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to... Um... Campaign confusion. I have a note. Ones... Uh. Yeah, I don't have that written down specifically. Um. Going through the names to make sure everything is. Vesta. It's a Vesta. Vesta. Right. Okay. Okay, the so. Moon, I believe. So I'm gonna file a flight plan. That's where we're headed. And uh, in the flight plan, you know, whatever speed we're actually traveling at, I'm gonna you know, note that we're probably going about a quarter of that. So that way, when we get there late, it won't be okay, so, so you're you're saying you're you're going there and you're traveling at a much slower speed. So you guys are going like, like yeah. barely, barely three G yeah, kind of thing. But you're but you're um, yeah. you're 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 saying you're going to get there at like one G or point six G or something like that. What's right. uh what's safe again for the um, the belters point, on board? Point three. Point three. That's, okay. So then, in our flight plan, I'm going to say that we're going point one. We're actually going to get far enough away from the station not to be noticed, and when we turn, we'll point three it out. Okay, so you log the flight plan, and um, the ATC comes back to you and uh, confirms your flight plan, um, and then you also get a, a, a comm saying, uh, and uh, the station commander would like to um, to wish you a farewell, and you hear voice comms over, over uh, with Fred Johnson, and Fred Johnson says, I don't know why you're going to Vesta. I don't want to know why, but I do want to know, want to let you know that your assistance in the matter of the pig was well regarded. 
Good luck, Actium. You're and welcome. Thank you. We'll see you on the next visit. All right. So, uh, you guys are... <coughs> Uh, you guys are off. Yeah, for, for those of you who are wondering about the ship, the ship is a converted freighter, as it were. They found freighter, out that right. it. They found out that it was a. Uh, it used to be. It's an old UN uh, escort ship um, that only had a railgun on it, um, but it had been passed generation to generation of belters, and so they they refitted it. Now they have one torpedo tube, one railgun, and a battery of of PPCs for defense. Um, so, not so much the Rossi. It's pretty much a, uh, it's like a, 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 a if, if the Rossi had spent a hundred years in, uh, <laughs> and, and, and used ship shops kind of thing, so. And I got us free supplies when I seduced that dude, kind of. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't count against my fortune at all, so. <laughs> it was cheap. We. We also got rid of the death trap of an airlock we had on this. Yes. Yeah. And we got a defensible oh, airlock. Right. <laughs> yeah. we, we, I think we got Heard rid of the airlock to like a collector. <laughs> All right. Yep. So, um, it is... Uh, make sure this... It, it's not too far. Um, you guys get to... Um, um, Herculania pretty easily. Um, takes a little over a week. Um, though you can go there faster if you want to do ha any hard burns. Mm. Are we there yet? You can do hard burns. <laughs> It's just that the Belters and uh, the Martians will will get a little bit of um, fatigue for a day or so. So take like your you time. Hard... Take your time. <laughs> <laughs> so if you hard burned and you could reduce, you could reduce it by by half and still have them. They would still be good to go, but they would need time to rest up. So like you'd get there in like three days, but it would take four days to actually. I want to like, stick with the original things. plan. Okay. I want to stick with the original plan. We're we're gonna. Uh, point one away from the station once we get fairly clear of the station where they're not really caring what we're doing uh, then we're going to go to point three and make the turn alright so um, you get point three, you make the turn you guys get there um, and um, as you as you get through there, it's a, it's a non-belt uh, asteroid, go ahead on, on the asteroid? trip um, yeah. on the trip I give Jatav the hand terminal I swipe from the room to to see if we can get anything off of that. Jita, do this. Jita, do that. Okay. I, 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 <laughs> Jita, we can't help it that you're super useful, babe. <laughs> I take the hand terminal and I uh, I guess I take it to my uh, I take it to my room or whatever, mm -hmm. and I I try and find out what's inside it. Give me a, a technology. Do. Give me a technology check with a plus three bonus. Okay. So on top uh, of your regular bonuses, just because you're taking your time. What does everybody okay. else want to do during this during this week travel? I want to see if I can research um, any references to Project Sandman ever. Uh, and, and you have stunt points, by the way, Jatah. <laughs> but go ahead. Oh, yeah, I do. I didn't roll too high, but... Uh, actually, no, I rolled 15, but yeah, I have stunt points, so I guess what I'll do is I'll use that um, really useful breakthrough thing. Okay, so... This is a hand terminal for, um, this was the hand terminal of, um, the scientist who was kidnapped last a couple weeks pri previously. And why would they still have that person's hand terminal? That's interesting. Um, uh, Sari, oh, Mateo Sari. Sari. Dr. Mateo Sari. Um, pretty much everything you've, you'd gathered on him before that, you're able to gather through that. Uh, but it's definitely his hand terminal. So that's what you find out. Okay. Oh, wait. So Ma what's his name? Teo Seri? Mateo Seri. Oh, yeah. 47 years old. Earther. Yeah. So, so I guess what it was is that, like, 
the the good doctor had like the higher model like hand hand terminal, so they just took it off him and forgot to wipe his name from the thing. Yeah, you don't All know right. why why they had the hand terminal, but it's definitely his hand terminal. Is what All you right. Find. Could I glean anything else from the hand terminal apart from that? Like what was um, he doing? It, he was working on. Um, uh, he was working on uh, life support systems. He had a pet project that he felt that like he was close to a breakthrough with uh, cryogenics. Um, he said he was able to freeze a, a rat in experiments for up to a week and unrevive them without any brain damage or any other kind of cell de- death, which was um, pretty good for, mm. for what they've been able to do. Um, and that he was moving on to, he was looking for for funds to increase his uh to to get like uh monkeys and other other like larger apes or at least some sort of biomass larger that he could test that'd be more simu- simulation for a human um all right so um upon finding this i go to cast in fact the the whole the the, the crew are together right yeah, you guys will meet together. It's a week, so you guys, I'm sure you guys will like sit down for dinners or something like that at some time. Yeah. All right. yeah. Well, I, I I tell them then that uh, well, it looks like you're on the right lead. Then it's a uh, cryogenics guy, uh, Matteo Seri, and I, I then I tell them about the rat experiments and stuff. Oh man! <laughs> New code name for uh, Hercule the the. Deciding that it, I'm deciding that I'm going to call it box. the ice box. <laughs> 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 so, um, Sloan, you were going to do something, doing some research. Yeah, I was just going to see if I could find any uh, general information about any any references to Project Sandman. Uh, in, in, you know, especially with uh, what you call it in mind, um, Pope Sanchez. Okay, give me a, uh, in, a, a intelligence check, which would be an, an intelligence research, but I think you just have intelligence. Ooh, yeah, girl. Mm, get it. You do have stunt points, so you can use <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Let me look at them real fast. I have my little card up this time. I'm so proud of myself. Okay, so what would it be? It would be... Investigation stunts. Investigation stunts. Okay. And how many do I have? Four. Okay, yeah. It seems like down the rabbit hole. I mean, if this is a test led to a reveal, the GM also provides a brand new lead about the new su- about a new subject that will lead to greater rewards. Maybe. Um, Maybe that works. Okay, so you, break. you hear... Which one do you want? Well, Lucky Break or down the I mean, rabbit like, hole? Let me read Lucky Break real fast. The test is putting two and two together. Treat one irrelevant focus as a tangential one. Now I'll do four. I'll do the, the down the uh, rabbit hole. Okay, so... Um, so you find... You don't find any information about Project Sandman, but you do find some conspiracy theories about a Project Sandman. There is a OPA um, faction... Um, okay. uh, wait, 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 let me take notes. Why is my pen working? Work pen? Oh, wait, because you're in black. That's why. Oops. Okay. Here we go. So, so consp- conspiracy theory. The, the Golden Bow, is some members of the Golden Bow have been posting on the network um, that they believe that Pope Sanchez specifically is sponsoring a, um, an, a, a Project Sandman. They've heard references to a Project Sandman. Uh, specifically uh, kidnapping belters um, to do some fucked up shit to him. <gasps> That's sad. Okay. Yeah. But a lot of people are so, like, yeah, why would Pope Sanchez kidnap people? They don't have any records of like where it's taking place. They just say that Pope Sanchez is kidnapping people. And most so people kidnapping. are just like ignoring it because it's it's a violent faction of the OPA that's that's posting this. Kidnapping belters for experimentation. Mm-hmm. Um, anything else, DM? About it. That's the only references okay. you can see that, that that reference Pope Sanchez and Project Sandman. There were other, like, Project Sandmans that were, like, attempted cryogenics, attempted sleep drug uh, perfections, like, like those kind of things. But, so this is a, like, no, somewhat known thing, but, like, heavily theorized. Oh, uh, I think a lot of people have just used the name. <laughs> yeah. Is what he's saying? Like, there's yeah. been oh, okay. titled Project you. Sandman before. Sandman. 
Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. And gotcha. some of them have to do with cryogenics, but none of them, none of those were successful. None of them are related okay. to Pope Sanchez. Um, so. Yeah, that's definitely. I mean, I know that. Um, I know Jatas in the OPA, right? Yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> you suspect that he is. <laughs> well, he is. Him and Pierce are particularly belters, so I would probably sit down with them in, in particular and see if they've heard anything about this. I mean, I, I gather the whole group, but I, I'm going to tell you guys like, so this Project Sandman thing, uh, the Golden Bow thinks that they, they have this conspiracy theory that Project Sandman, specifically by Pope Sanchez, is kidnapping belters for experimentation. Sounds like a smart bunch of fellows, if you ask me. <laughs> Why, like, would my character know enough about the Golden Bow to, to know anything about them? Uh, they like blowing up uh, ships, um, attacking innocent civilians. They're kind of uh, uh, a, a violent terrorist group, essentially. So basically, yeah, okay. So, so she would just regard them as like generally yeah. probably a terrorist organization yeah i mean so, for for jata and pierce they would have known them as kind of a violent faction but not necessarily a, a crazy people people right. like like but like you and mark and Cass would probably regard them more as just as, terrorists yeah you know just wanton violence yeah but but she's also one to be like okay look like y'all might know something so she yeah she specifically looks at when we're all sitting down about this she specifically looks at jata and pierce and says have y'all, do y'all know any extra detail about the Golden Bow? All I know is they're a terrorist organization under the OK. Um, do y'all have, do y'all know anything about them beyond that? Because, I mean, I've heard a lot, like, they seem like they're kind of nutsy guys, but it sounds like they're onto something here based on the evidence we've already gathered. I mean, we know these guys are kidnapping people. We know these guys are doing something with cryogenics. I mean, Golden Bow must have have something or or have people that have something well if you're asking me to divulge military secrets to you that i'm afraid i can't do i'm not asking you to do that i'm just asking if if you think these guys like might have a possibility of maybe just I don't know if we pass along some information to them maybe they'd be able to figure like help not necessarily help us but I don't know, create distractions while we figure this out. Mm. Not that I want there to be violence. I don't believe in that. Be GM, what do you think? <laughs> would you know the Golden Bow? Um, would I know the Golden Bow? Would I know that they are um, basically... Would, would I know if they are reliable to give information to about this thing? Or is it not worth our time? You could give it to them, but they're as likely to help you as they are just to take that information and then like try to blow up this, the, the asteroid. Right. right. And we don't yeah. want to blow up the asteroid. We want to get these people saved. Right. Or, Somebody like, they could also take it. Noise. Oh, yeah. Drones, can you switch to push the top or something? Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, it, I just, just heard the background noise. Um, normally it wouldn't bother me, but that one was particularly like, okay. <laughs> yeah, I didn't I didn't even think about it. It's storming no, no here pretty bad. So, oh, um, By the way, if I drop off, it's... That's power. why? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Pray, pray, pray for drones. Um, I promise so... I won't let them let you kill somebody. Who is... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, um, they, they, they would be as likely to attack the asteroid as they would to attack the um, to, to just start blowing up Pope Sanchez ships. Right. Like, right. They, 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 for retribution. Sort of thing. So I, I tell Cass, uh, Golden Bauer, kind of like a last resort. You don't simply just ask them questions. Okay. That's, that's good to know. Um, so we should just leave them alone for now. Um, yeah. Okay. But like I said, they they seem to have beyond to something themselves. Um, we can we can just go about this our own way and just continue forward. But I just wanted to know if they might be useful. But it sounds like they just might create more problems. All right. You mentioned Pope Sanchez was sponsoring Project Sandman. Well, I mean, yeah, we've suspected that this whole time, I believe, since we right. Yeah. That brings us to an elephant in the room. And we work. It, we we work for a corp. What do you think Culpepper would pay for information on this project? Ooh. Hmm. First of all, 
We don't. None of. How, how much do any of us know about Culpepper? Apart from they're paying me credits, not much. No. I know the check's clear. I mean, that's right. That they do. To be honest, our, our our first contract on this job is with the Mormons. We owe it to the Mormons to get them their people back, or at least get them the answers of what's been going on with their. People. We don't owe them nothing. Uh, they've been paying us, so I think we. And owe them what? A work. We go. I'm with Jata on this one. We don't owe them a single iota. Do we have any Mormon credits in our bank account? They already paid you. Okay. Partially. They partially pay you okay. half up front is what they was what they do. I mean, I did was. I did kind sure. of give yeah. them the contract agreement that if we decided to if we had to move on or we couldn't finish this all out, that basically we would send them what we had, like they send the know, rest through of secure it. channels, yeah. and then they could go forward from there with somebody else. Well, you listen here. The reason why I am in this ship, if you can call it that, right now with you, is because of cold pepper. And I think that we have a larger obligation to Cold Pepper than we do a group of religious fanatics. That's I'm just that's saying, fair. why not get paid twice? Mormons want their people. Cold, Cold Pepper, Pepper might want information. It might just pay for information, and uh, you know, depending on what they're into. I just can't justifiably support giving information to a competitive company that might just take up the project itself. I mean, when people are getting kidnapped and possibly experimented on, this is kind of, this is getting into seriously, for me, moral territory. I, well, I look do at, not support that. Oh company. man, sure would be a shame if corporations paid people to kidnap other <laughs> Look at it this way. Look at it this way. Cold Pepper are employing us. They're the guys who are paying us monthly right now to do whatever it is that we're doing. I think that we more or less owe it to them at this point to give them the information that we have to see if maybe they can send us to basically pursue what we're doing right now and as Cass said, get paid twice. And hey, if it looks like that place is a shithole, we just tell the Golden Bow and they... Because we gotta be careful. You realize that. We go in there and this ship gets damaged because of some strange mission that's off the beaten path of what Cold Pepper wants. We could be in trouble. That's a fair point. Well, because so right now we're are. already burning cold pepper fuel right now to go doing something else. I okay. I mean, I'm, it's not I'm, like we have. It's not like we have an active. D, uh, sorry, DM. How do relationships work? Relationships are a thing in the game. Um, relationships will increase or decrease your affinity for one another as well as your um, skills and other things. Uh, let me look into it. Yeah, I can pull up the book too and kind of help. Like, I just, I have one relationship and that might, since it, it's, it's, it's her brother, the one that's a traitor. And I, I'm just thinking maybe it would be beneficial to contact him and ask and see if, like, he has anything that he can do. Or warn her of. Here, I'll pull that out, too, if I can. Sorry, guys, I don't uh, mean to pause it. I just, I'm like, eh, this might be something, you know? That's all right. I mean, you almost got, like, a relation with uh, that person that I did to damage their hand terminal on, sadly. <laughs> <laughs> they were about to give you contact and info and everything, <laughs> and then framed and then framed the shit out of uh, uh, out of shit out for mor murder. Yeah, Lord Almighty, they're in jail now. <laughs> <laughs> Lord Almighty. Okay, yeah, relationships. Let's see. Oh wait, wrong search tab. There we go. I Perfect. love PDFs. Okay, next. Provides da, 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 and relationship with other characters. Okay, that's just the description. It's a big book, guys. <laughs> if those of you who are listening or watching, yeah. it's Chapter a big book. 14 is apparently where it's located. Um, I'm kind of just skipping through until I get there. Chapter 14, paragraph 8, uh, section 5. Yep, <laughs> that's the one. 
So relationships. Um, relationship yeah. intensity. So there's a couple of different types of bonds. There's I'd risk my life for you. I won't stop until you're dead. I've got, gone through hell. We've gone through hell together. I trust you to be my conscience. You are someone I love and respect, but we can never be together in the way I want. Uh, those are just some examples. And you can also do... Um, Uh, they're similar to uh, honorifics and memberships. So, an example. So yeah. So essentially, relationship relationship intensity is measured by a rating of one to five. One being new but significant relationship, and five being the kind of bond that a character has experienced once in a, only once in a lifetime. For each rank. Of intensity, a characters get free stunt point. They can only use the stunt points for involving or connected with to the relationship. These stunt points can be spent once per session and only when the uh, character's actions are directly motivated by the relationship. Intensity stunt, um, stunt points can be used on any test, however, not just when the player rolls doubles. Uh, intensity st uh, stunt point can be combined with stunt point generated by rolling doubles. So essentially, like, because, like, if you guys all were like, tighter knit like you guys right now have like a relationship be like of like one because you guys have like been through shit together um right. and uh, i probably haven't seen him a whole lot so it makes yeah, yeah. he's only really he, it makes sense that he'd only be at a one because i don't see him enough anymore well no you're you you and you and your brother would be like i'm talking like you as a crew you would have like a relationship oh. of like one you're like your crew you you guys okay. have gone through some shit and like you trust each other like jata will do something uh, I've seen him do something when they when it's been asked to, to right. do it. Not just he he's getting you're getting credits for it, but you're doing it because you trust that what you're doing is going to get you the credits. Right. You're not just doing it only if you get promised of pay, right, Jata? Right. 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 We'll right. see. <laughs> you guys will do things for the good of the group, but not not so much just just because you're not like hacking people's like personal accounts for the for, as a favor to somebody. You're hacking right. them because you're both doing you're doing a job for money, but you guys are yeah. you're trusting one another. So that you guys would have like a one relationship, whereas because you're still fairly new on this, whereas you and your brother would have like a a three or okay. two. A, so two I should I should rate my relationship because my brother is listed relationship on my sheet, so I should yeah. rate that at a two or three. Two or three, yeah, and that okay. just means that when anything anytime you deal with your brother, you get two stunt points. Two, right. two stunt points you can use. I'm gonna rate it a two since you know it's still a fret. You know, we're yeah. this game still. I, I don't want to op myself or anything mm. right now. And of course, like I said, not seeing him all the time. Obviously, he's been gone for a long time. But um, I think he's a traitor. So mm -hmm. is like okay. So with that, knowing that now, is there like basically could I like securely contact him in some yeah. way and just say, hey, I might need some advice, or hey, I might need help in some capacity sure you can try that okay so is that a communications check like do i go through somebody to help me with that what, what will we do here? uh it would be a communications check okay so i'm, I'm gonna kind of look at todd i'm like I, I i would like to be able to, to contact my brother um, um i might need your help but i'll try first you've got a hand terminal don't you yeah I use do. it i do you you also have access you'll also have access to the um to the ship's stuff. Yeah, yeah stuff so I don't know if I want that to be logged on the ship too, but but you know I can find probably a way to make it more secure. And besides, it's my brother, so nobody should suspect anything. You have his me. contact information. You don't know if it's up to date, but you definitely have his contact. Right. Information. Okay. Um, and no additional modifiers for a secret submit. Okay. So you think you have a, a pretty good uh, ability to um, contact him? You do have two sun points you can use on this if you'd like to. What do you want to tell him? Um, let me find the stunt stuff real quick. This would be a communication stunt. Find that. Where is that? Communication? Or it's maybe general social. It'd be um, under general social, yeah. Yeah. There we go. Um, I want... Okay, I want to use... Ooh, hidden message might work. Um, Words convey a different message than to one person than to I mean, he's my brother. We probably have a way of speaking to each other. I was going to say, hey, miss you. Uh, give me, like, or call me back. Uh, and then I'll say something, like, kind of coded to make that, that hidden message work. Like, like maybe something like, 
mom's at it again <laughs> or okay. something like that you know so, something of that nature so, so you say mom's at it again and, and it's that means like, like it means like like hey i i i need a favor kind of like i need yeah. a serious i need a or, serious ask or it's something it's something that was like doesn't make any sense to him so he knows that it's something off so he needs knows he needs to contact you or something like that. yeah exactly it's, it gets the the, the the urgency there all right so we've got jata hacked we've got sloan's contacting her brother um mark and um cast do either of you want to do anything else during this um, week i I want to inspect all the new installed equipment. I knew you were going to say sure that. It seems <laughs> operational. All right, give me a uh, perception check. Perception. Okay. It'd be perception seeing, but you know. 15. Okay. Um. Uh, uh, so you are, um, you, uh, notice everything seems to be pretty up to standard. There's nothing that's too off or anything like that. It all seems pretty standard insulation. Um, you note that it's going to be kind of weird to fire, um, um, torpedo backwards. Um, but most torpedoes have that kind of shoot moment and then hang and then activate afterwards anyways. So you're just going to have yep. to calculate that into your own firing arc. So. Okay. Um, okay. And the other thing I would do is spend time just making sure the medical bay was ready for whatever these idiots get us into. Right. Yeah. Seems pretty good. <laughs> medical bay and everything else seems seems top, like like you left it. Uh, top top drugs and all that yeah. stuff. Slow? Um, or uh, just loan up. Uh, Cass? Yeah, I, I actually, uh, I apologize, I need to step out. Okay. Um, so, Cass is going to make sure all, all the uniforms are in. He's okay. found the ones that fit everybody the best. Okay. Um, but, uh, yeah, I have to step away. But uh, I'll leave this open so that you don't have to redo all the video stuff. Sounds good. Thanks, man. All right. So, um, we're actually coming up on the on the end of this anyways. Really? Yeah, because we're actually been streaming for three almost three hours. What? Yeah. <laughs> that's the best part about these games is like it feels yep. like you've been playing for Time an hour flies. but you've been playing like for three hours it's yeah so much fun. we've been streaming for three for for two hours and 42 minutes as far so oh, besides paul deserves a break before caps is table too I, I do need to get get, get started here get some food yada yada yeah um but uh what i will say is you get a wave back sloan okay. on your um on the message and it's your brother um, he looks kind of ratty, um, kind of looking into the camera, and he, he says, uh, got your message. Um, tell me about mom. I need to know more. Uh, this, this, is, this is like a back-to-back -back communication. He goes, I can't, I might be able to help, but um, kind of busy right now with work. Got a new package delivery uh, that I got to make, and uh, it's very... A very exp expensive and important. So just get me back when you chance. Okay. And then, yeah, I send him back a message and just say, um, I need to know if you've ever heard of the Sandman. And her, and, and or no, I'm not going to say Sandman. I'm going to say, I'm actually going to say, what do you know about um, Asteroid 532? Okay. And any 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 stuff coming in and out of it. Okay. Um, about an hour or so later, you get a response back, and he's he kind of looks at it and goes, "Don't know much. I know it's uh, ast belt asteroid uh, on the way to Ve between Vesta and uh, Tycho. I know there's a Pope Sanchez ship that go goes between there. Uh, it's been abandoned. Um, there are rumors that some people still are active around there." But nothing else other than that. All right, it, it can't be more help. Yeah, I just sent him back. A oh, thanks. Let me know if you know anybody that's in that area anytime soon, please. He responds back after an hour or so, going, um, "Take care of yourself. I don't know what you're into, but you know, I haven't seen you off off world in years. 
So don't don't do anything stupid. Don't don't do don't do uh, what's your other brother's name? The one that was. Oh, uh, well, we've never named the brothers. Actually, that's kind of bad. Uh, uh, well, well, let's give them quick names. Um, Tweedledum and Tweedledee. Oh come on. <laughs> Ooh, maybe they're Jim, twins. The hotel security cool. guard. Uh, the twins, but they're but like Sloan, they're Maddox. Uh, let's go with um, Gunner and Brick. Brick, I love <laughs> there we that. Go. Okay, I love that. Thank you. That's such a great name, Gunner. And okay, Brick. Gunner and Brick. Okay, so he says, uh, I haven't, I haven't, uh, I don't, I don't want to see you end up like Gunner, going off headstrong into some something he doesn't understand and end up end up hurt. Uh, mentioning like your brother in the military who who had been you know injured uh, during a during uh, a, a raid by the OPA yeah. you know kind of thing. Yeah. Just, stay stay safe. Say hi to mom for me. And then, yeah, and I just let that be. I'm, I'm gonna respond to that. I just I know he's just me and my brother just a little bit like okay. All right. So here is the deal guys um, art so as you approach um you notice that the sh- that the asteroid, the small asteroid, is actually spinning faster than it anticipated. Five three two is not supposed to be a spun up asteroid. In the uh, in the expanse universe, asteroids are spun up by slowly increasing the speed, the revolutions, until it's spinning at a at a revolution that is causes artificial gravity. So okay. it's not it's not supposed to be a spun up asteroid. It's spinning. Um, it's. Large, about 260 by 220 by 120, 115 kilometers. Uh, it's not spherical, but rather a blocky shape. And um, it's been given spin artif- artificially, about 0.2 G, based off of your just initial calculations and, and observations. There are two external ship ports, ports that are visible on the exterior of the asteroid. A small freighter is already docked at one of the ports. There are also several other smaller airlocks for access to asteroids, uh, asteroid surface, and external venting shafts at different locations around the asteroid. No one seems to have noticed you guys come in. Okay, so nobody's hailing us or anything. Um. You're muted, I mean, by the way, Mark. Thank you. Saying, well, we're here, guys. <laughs> what do you want to do? So, uh, hey, Captain, what does that ship that's docked look like right now? What is it? Uh, it's a pretty ship. Isn't Doctor Drains the captain? He's the one flying. He's the no, he's the pilot. Pilot, not Slo- captain. Ah. <laughs> Sloan. Right. Sloan's, Sloan's the captain on paper because she took responsibility for the for the like stuff. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, um, I asked Dr. Drones because he has, like, you know, I guess the radars, whatever, to what ship is currently docked because our ship, our ship isn't, so, um, you know, they don't know our ship, if you know what I mean. Like, they won't let us I dock. Pull up whatever we can see and I share it with Jata. Here. here. <laughs> so there is That's a freighter, like. uh, a um, small freighter. So it's a ship about half the size of, of, the, uh, of the Actium. Okay. Already docked at the ports, but there are two exterior, uh, two ship ports. One that's already been docked, another one that's open. Would we need to hail them to dock, or is this asteroid because it's abandoned and it probably you, doesn't have an ATC? Your, you could hail them to try to talk, but you okay. could also, but you know, you've done enough combat, you've seen enough combat yourself, and so same with uh, Mark has done enough combat breaching that you don't need. You could you could dock. You just force the, the airlock open uh, when you dock dock with them. You said it was a small freighter. Small freighter, yeah. What's the plan? Well, do we deceive or do we pretend? Well, either way, we're gonna have to deceive. I mean, we 
mean, we have the jumpsuits to look the part. Um, we need to come up. Here's with the, the thing. Way. Right now, there's no nothing to tell us that they know we're here. So, we hail them, we lose surprise. That's right. But we can also spoof our uh, our ship at least on radar, so we look like something they are expecting. Maybe like, uh, I don't know, the Ebenezer Hazard. I mean, we could do that technically, couldn't we? Because, uh, this is out of character, just because I have their, the Ebenezer's like schedule, so mm -hmm. I should know when the Ebenezer is next scheduled to be here. Yes, you would know when they're supposed to be there, which is in a couple of days, like a day or so, from, from like a day or so behind you. Right. It would be, yeah. If they weren't being under investigation for murder. Uh, <laughs> but these people here on the asteroid wouldn't know that, would they? They may not. You don't know. Maybe right. we could pretend to be them a day or two early because of the investigation in case that's an issue. Okay. Like if um, they contact us to say something like, well, we were told that you got, like, you guys told us that you were having a thing going on. We'll be like, well, we got out of there as soon as we could. We, we, okay. We expedited the, the process of, of whatever they were supposed to be doing. Right. Well, in that case, I could make a, I mean, GM, is it possible for me to spoof our ship's ID tags or whatever on the radar? You so could that. You could try, but you can't spoof the size of your ship. Your ship is, you don't have stealth tech or anything like that. They will know you're right. a bigger ship. You're a bigger ship than the hazard is. We could pretend okay. also to be the, the crew of the hazard, like some of the crew of the hazard, like. Getting on, get, get it, grabbing another ship or something to get over here, while the others were getting investigated. Um. Okay, here's here's what I'm thinking. The chances that they don't know what happened down at Taiko is pretty slim. So we could just tell them that we are a replacement crew, and if they want to know what happened at Taiko, they can send a wave and find out. Sounds pretty um, solid. Yeah. I'm still thinking you open any communications at all, we lose surprise. All right, but, like that surprise. Okay. Um, there are now, external. There are also external airlocks. You can EVA out of your ship and go to the external airlocks or vents as well if you want. But we to have no idea in. how many people are in there either. There we nope. could either we could be facing like maybe just a few people up to several hundred. We have no clue. Would they? Um, I mean, I, I don't know how this asteroid, and, and I, you're not really, you don't have to tell us this, right? But uh, I, I don't know how this asteroid is built up. I mean, like, it's an abandoned asteroid or whatever. If we dock, will they know we docked? Or is yes. it not that? Okay. They'd, prob they'd probably know you docked. It's just right. one of those things where, um, like, the asteroid itself is was built originally as a mine. Right. Since then, so you, you could easily pull, pull up the mine schematics, but since then, it's been a while since it's been used as a mine. Yeah, so it so could it could easily have a totally different layout. Totally different layout in the past uh, since, it, since they, it's been converted. Would it be likely that the people on the asteroid would know if we docked directly to that cargo ship? To the cargo ship? Oh, uh, oh, 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 clever boy. Possibly. Um, like you'd you'd think that they may or may not be able to do so. I mean, you guys are on a stealth ship again, so it's 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 right, right. They'd be able to tell pretty quickly okay. just by glancing at the at security feeds or at you know the station. If there's, you don't know if someone's in the sh in the ship or not, you don't know when the ship's going to leave. You just as you're approaching, you know you're approaching butt first because you know you have to burn it, burn in. You're sure. you're noticing everything there. All right, there's, this one here is your away. call. I couldn't give a lot of caca about this mission right here. So and uh, and Cass seems to have drunk too much. It's yeah. on the floor. So <laughs> this one's up to you. Uh, I liked I liked the plan of me. I mean, I don't know. I, I out of character. I'm kind of like whatever. <laughs> like what what's gonna work? I I you know it's it's obviously like an unsure situation. I mean, whatever, whatever this, this seems like the most, uh, the less risky, but but still like gains results plan. I know? could bring us in close to that cargo ship, and we could breach the cargo ship direct. That docking oh, to it. that might work. So rather it's than EVA docking, over. you could just EVA over to the car cargo ship. Yeah. Yep. That's I actually that that's, that sounds good to me. So we had a previous plan earlier that. Uh, 
We would have some remain on this ship. Obviously, the pilot's gonna have to stay on this ship. Yeah. I can likely do what I can do inside, outside, provided you guys are there for me to link to. So okay. it's gonna be... It's gonna be Sloan, it's gonna be Cass, and I suppose Pierce going aboard? Uh, yeah. Yeah, Pierce is definitely gonna go on. He's He ain't saying, you know, <laughs> in a, when he have a chance to swing. Uh... <laughs> It's all about that. Yeah, he, he's he's a useful muscle. All right, then I'm ready. Yep. Let's, you know, let's do this. And I assume that's where we'll cut off for our next session, I suppose. Yep. That's yep. where we're going to end here. Um, Sounds good.